I got this, y'all. A. Arrow love. There you go. You did it. <laughs> Such a surprise stream. What a surprise. Nobody saw it coming. It's fine. I mean, it's a surprise if you were expecting uh, other things. If you were expecting not me streaming right now. But I tweeted out. Everything's good. This is River. For those that do not know, this is Hi my again. girlfriend. Hey, your first time being on set as my girlfriend. It's been a while. It has been a while been since we the know the SCP devil, stream. which was oh no, SCP stream yeah. came after that. Because we know the that devil was... happened on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And then April, March. I think earlier. Yeah, I think like it's February or March was the last time we did. But we've been waiting for this game to come out because it's from <laughs> the cre. You too, but I like yeah. the We Know the Devil. I like it a lot. So, we are excited for this. I'm good. I'm tired. Hey. Hi, Dreamcatcher Wolf. You did work today. Yeah, that's okay. Sleepy Bean. Had uh, work Just at reading. 7.30 in the morning. Your work? What? No, this is... Oh, yeah, this is just reading. Difficult. True. Very true. And so, for those that do not know the synopsis of this game, it is... It's oh, well. It is Heaven Will Be Mine is a visual novel about making terrible life decisions in the midst of a hot-blooded battle between giant robots. Select one of three terribly behaved girls to fight and or make out with each other in their struggle for the fate of space. So, exclamation point trigger, because those are the trigger warnings that they actually have on their site. Yeah, they have on the page. Yeah, so I added those to this. We are personally playing it on Itch.io. Um, cause River really wanted to support Itch.io instead, which yes. I don't blame. <laughs> I do not blame. Uh, I support that too. So we got it on Itch.io and are playing through there. So, oh, you know what, Squidbot? Oh, nope. Nope. Rude. <laughs> Did, I Did I not save? save? Trigger. It's right here. It's not checked. Ah! It's not enabled. Ah! You just, you just. Okay. I'm just making sure it should work now. You should probably save. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no, it should. It was saved. It just wasn't enabled because I wanted it so people couldn't accidentally trigger trigger during games yeah. that it didn't apply for. There we go. So that's it. Hi, Hi Sad Dirtles. Hello, hello. Hi, Lucas. Hi, guys. So there's that's anyone what they I missed, let me know. On the uh, store description store yeah. page. So. so we are excited. I would assume there's also like Well Religion. <laughs> there might blasphemy. be. There was in the last one. There's so. I don't know if there is this time, but um they do say that it is a queer science fiction mecha visual novel. Sounds right. So Expect those things. Expect all those things. Hi, Marks. Hey, hello. Hi, Luke Karian. Hi, Bella Coco. There we go. Which, by the way, did I say hi to you guys? I don't know. I said hi again, just in case. But yes, trigger should work now. Yeah. And exclamation point blind, because of course we're playing this blind, but it just came out today, so I'd be really surprised I don't think it's if people knew what was going to happen. Super heavy, necessarily, all the time. Depends. As much as um. As much as we know the devil. That's pretty yeah. heavy. It's I've I've seen description. It's much more like I would say it's anime kind of. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it's like Doki Doki or Hotful. Gonna be uncomfortable. I mean, there's no no shame. In that. Yeah, no. Yeah, we don't know what it's gonna be like. Um, don't know if it'll be heavy or not. But we know the devil was. But also, this is like a sci-fi version and not horror like the other one was. But I don't know if it's like Doki Doki or Hotful. Announcements? Announcements. Uh, well, I can do them anyway. Tomorrow, I am doing Game Whiz Picks. Again, the other side of the screen, uh, the other side of the screen is one game from Vortex Gaming. And then the ending of The Crooked Man, hopefully. Fingers crossed, because I really want to beat that game. And that is from The Wolf Prince. So that'll be tomorrow. And then Friday and Saturday will be Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Unless we get a lot done and we still have more of this game left to chug through, me and River might do more of this game Saturday at we'll noon. See. We'll see. Uh, no more than like a couple, two to three hours probably. Um, because I got D&D &D in the evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday. So 
Yes, these are the plans. Also, partner parties next Saturday, the 4th. It's Visual gonna be a lot of fun. Is, yeah, like Doki Doki or Hobbit. Oh, yeah, it's like reading like that, yes. Place but style. it's not going to be like that in the sense um, of... I don't think there's necessarily Slot. horror elements. I think it's much more like sci-fi. Yeah, because they definitely anime. say their old ones have horror. Yeah. So this one doesn't say it's horror. It says it's more yeah. sci-fi. Like Gundam. <laughs> yeah, it's got Gundams and stuff. Yeah. It's a very anime. So there might be creepy moments, but I don't think yeah. it's going to be I mean, like, like something's going to jump out conflict. or anything. Yeah. Tension. War. That's what it is. Yeah. Play style. That's legit, Paladin. Yeah. That it is similar. It is, it's It'll be reading P, like think, that. Just like We'll do voices. Know. Yeah. So. Aw, oh, Dreamcatcher, I hope it starts working. Hopefully. Hi, Dreamcatcher Wolf, by the way. Hi, Crusteds! I'm excited to be here. Hey! All that love. I love it. For horror anime, I found that the first two seasons of Tokyo Ghoul are amazing. Ooh. I have the first manga. And that is all. Mecca and ladies, let me get a beer and I'll be set. Yep. Mecca and ladies, and possibly lesbians, depending on how Def we play. Lesbians. Definitely lesbians. I mean, we know we're going to be romancing the lesbians. We're okay with this. So. Anyway. <laughs> okay, launch. Um. Pillow fight. Pillow Fight's the, like, publisher they work with. I like it. I'm going to lower this. A all right. Let me bring everything back up. Mm, mm, mm. All right. That should be fine. It says desktop right, but it means center. Ignore that. Nobody sees that. It's fine. Whoa. Microsoft text input application. That's really weird. Eh, I don't know. Uh, let us know about volume if it's too loud or anything. We'll find out. It might be too quiet, actually. Oh, no, because remember, we know the devil. We had to keep, like, lowering yeah. to, like, an insane amount, so maybe not. Uh, can't stay long. I'll play RE5 with my friend. Well, that sounds like fun, Lucas. Enjoy it. Lesbians, my friend would hella love this game. Heck yes. Ella. Ella, A. This is a. just PC. Yes. And then if we have to make a smaller, I will. Actually, I might just preemptively. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. To match the um, subs part. And then maybe they can see more text. So that should be better. So it's a little quiet. Uh, We'll find out when we get into game game. Yeah. Because right now it's not too loud, but I think it's they have subtler music happening. Because there was like, and we know the devil, there was some like sirens that were deafening. What system are you guys playing this on? I'm playing on Windows 10. That's my computer. So. Hey. Oop. There we go. I wanted those in front. Okay. Hey. Mm, lesbians for the win. I like that everyone's like, lesbians. The best yeah, kind. this just came out earlier today. Yeah, it just came out today. So, it's on Steam and Itch.io. We got it on Itch.io. So. $15, but it's on sale, like, 10% off. Why is it Drink Queen it bottle when out? you need it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, from $15 to 13 something. Thirteen fifty. There you go. Yeah. So, if you do want that little bit of a sale, today's the day, or at least soon. I don't know when they would stop that, so. Yeah. This is by Mia Schwarz <laughs> and... AVB with music from Alex. I don't remember his name, unfortunately. You know way more than I do, so <laughs> way to go. Hey, we've been, well, you've been stalking this thing more than me. Yes. Because I have it on my wish list, but it didn't even say that it was about to come out until all of a sudden it did. So you told me before it told me on yeah, Steam. So I, watched, I was like, well. Like, look at their Twitter. That's legit. So. You guys ready you for Heaven Will Be Mine? Oh. Bow. Oh, that's fine. Probably. All right. <laughs> Hopefully. You want to do hey, that? Sure. Do you want this? Nah. Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> that's you fair. this? Ooh. 
She hot. I want her. Saturn. <laughs> Wait. So we have a choice oh, okay. of protagonists. There are three, three characters. The first visual never I played was Corpse Party. <laughs> oh God, that yeah. is. That's a lot of death. I love Corpse Party, but that's a lot of a lot of people that. So we can choose from Luna Terra, Saturn, or Pluto. Oh, Pluto's adorable. What what does it say? Let's read the thingies. Faction for Lunaterra is the Memorial Foundation. The they call the Mech ship self self ships, I guess. I thought it was ship self. So So the name of her Gundam is Mare Chrysium, which is a one of the mares on the moon. Those are the black. It's really good that River's playing this with me because I don't know that shit. On the moon. Memorial Foundation Ace Pilot. Fighting for the pilots to join the rest of humanity back on Earth before it's too late. Good at sniping, espionage, double crossing, ghosting. Rude! <laughs> Bad at loving herself and everything else. Dark. Damn. Alright. Saturn. Uh, Saturn is with Celestial Mechanics. The name of her ship is the String of Pearls. She's a reserve test pilot. I just pilot. realized your headphones are keying out real good. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Uh, okay, I can anyway. switch. No, that's anything. fine. Um, Celestial Mechanics wants to advance humanity to its next stage, and Saturn wants to flirt, but there's no reason we can't do both. Combat style, button mashing. Bedroom style, button mashing. Yeah! <laughs> I like Saturn. She's my kind of girl. <laughs> and Pluto is with Cradle's Graces. Name of her ship is the Crun Macula. That is one of the dark regions near Pluto's equatorial region. She's the ultimate the weapon pilot for Cradle's Graces. Even if Earth has given up on a new life for humanity in space, Cradle's Graces hasn't, and Pluto will make that dream come true. Her likes are succulents, good girls, crushing both kinds, and everyone. Her dislikes, she's trying very hard not to have any. I like Pluto too! <laughs> do we want everyone to vote on who we do first? <laughs> We're gonna do all of them, by the way, at some it point in time. I have no strong opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna gonna do do a, a poll. poll. Okay. And have you guys decide who you want us to do. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Choose Straw path to follow. Poll. First. Who do? What were their names? Oh, God. <laughs> Voodoo. Pluto. Saturn. Saturn. And what? Well, I can't remember the other girl's name. And Luna Terra. Hyphen. Space? Oh, hyphen. Okay. Terra. Oops. Terra? Yes. Oops. Great poll. Guys, go vote. Let us know who you want us to do first. That, again, sounds weird, but you know what I mean. I want Luna to smash me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> and Saturn. Saturn and Pluto for me. Although I like Luna Terra's looks. I'm torn between Pluto and Saturn. <laughs> we creator fries quoting Futurama in the chat. <laughs> the neutral people. Yes. I have no strong opinions one way or the other. And if I die, tell my oh. wife. Hello. Hello. Didn't you just recently talk yeah, to me about we that just too? About that. Like literally. Oh my god, that's so funny. Wow, Pluto and Saturn are wrecking it. <laughs> Damn. I'm I mean, she's Pluto. definitely more butchy. Who? Luna Terra. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see that. More distant. For those wondering, Luna Terra, Saturn, Pluto. I think that's why I like Saturn, because she's like the in-between. Yeah. I like the androgynous types. I love my butches. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Oh my god. Uh, clearly the correct no choice. Fight me 1v1. Hi, Punchy. Hello, hello. She have sass. No regrets. <laughs> Pluto looks like she should be cackling while she's stepping on someone. I can see that. She reminds me that a little bit of Azula. Yeah. Like, she's just got that vibe a little bit that she could snap, and it's a little scary. I like warrior women. Legit. 
Hey. Aw, Teddy Bear. She looks like she'll she'll be sass, but Pluto looks adorable. It's true. <laughs> Fuck me. <as> well. <laughs> Crested is like, yeah. All right, right now Saturn is winning. Guys, I'm I'm gonna give you like 30 more seconds. Go vote if you guys haven't yet. Go vote. Say who you want us to play through first. We don't know how long these are going to be. Yeah, we don't know if it's... we're going to be beating one of them tonight, if we'd be beating multiple. We don't have no any idea. Because we know the devil, for all three playthroughs and the fourth special playthrough, was about two and a half hours. Yeah, but... But this we is skipped more... Through. I mean, the first playthrough was only about an hour and a half, maybe? And then we skipped through the dial... The repeated yeah post. because it was repeated yeah this might not have that too so let me smash has a huge crush on azula clearly <laughs> would never second guess that that's like multiple emotes making up an emote which one? It's creative this one or this. yeah also uh to be fair has one that's a uh, really morbid to be fair if you have it you should totally put it in chat river will get it it's fine no that's really creative, though. It's I wouldn't have thought to do that. Yeah, is this some, some kind of that. sex game? It is a dating sim, and there it is, is a dating sim. Uh, themes of sexuality, yes. I don't yes. think there's anything explicit visually. I don't know if there's going to be anything explicit textually. That we're going to be reading? <laughs> uh, Sayori, what? Oh, the two emotes you have that everyone's like, no, that are from that one show. I don't want to say it because it's going to spoil it. But it's like... The two doing this move. Yeah, the fusion thing. Isn't that what fusion is? <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. That. I don't know if I know that. Yeah, you do. Together forever! I didn't realize that was their names! Oh my god! What is it? A girl and their, her dog? Fusion together forever. What is it? Uh, Edward Elric. Uh, oh. Do you remember See, I that? I've never watched it. Right, so. but you know what that is. I mean, I do. You do know what that is. So... Because River's never seen it, I know. But you yeah. know what that is because yeah. we were, like, I teasing I, Snuffles I with it. up on that. We were teasing Snuffles with it because we saw so many memes yeah. of that with the girl and her dog. And Snuffles hated us for it. So, Saturn won by one vote. By one vote. So we're going to be doing Saturn votes. right now. I approve. How did you get that? <laughs> oh, my God. So, let's bring everything up. All right. All right. So, so Saturn. let's begin. Celestial Mechanics. Oh yeah, the volume looks just fine for you guys. Holy crap. Welcome, Provisional Test Pilot Saturn. Your clearance is level one, testing and maintenance. Warning, potential damage to cockpit hardware detected. Warning, modifying or tampering with cockpit hardware and or firmware is strictly prohibited. Do you want to do Mercury? Sure. Saturn, what are you doing? Notice, bypass override accepted. Notice, launch attempt blocked. No handshake with base. Oh, hey, Mercury. Not much. Warning, launch attempt blocked. Base, ha base handshake spoof detected. Just hacking the OS root of this ship cell. You? Notice, base handshake error. Notice, base handshake accepted. Trying to stop some brat from hijacking the prototype, apparently. Notice, emergency launch override initiated. Prepare for launch in T-minus 120 seconds. Calm down, Mercury. I'm just borrowing it. I am not debating. I am trying to save your life. The commander will be furious, and he won't just accept you stealing the Cornerstone project from the design pilot. Designated. Designated. I can't read. It's not a big deal. I'll have it back before you know it. This is privileged information, but the des designated pilot has to launch right this second to get that machine back to Earth before they get here. This is the worst possible time. I couldn't be worse. It couldn't be worse if you planned it. She probably planned it. 
Everyone in the system suddenly somehow knows this base's location, and they're heading here now. Notice user override, user launch override blocked, denied by base. Oh, wow, weird. How did that happen? Heard. Notice user launch override blocked, denied by base. That's. Notice user launch override blocked, denied by base. You planned it, didn't you? You forgot an apostrophe. Notice, base override, remote shutdown in 30 seconds. No one can prove anything, especially not the designated pilot, unconscious in locker 27. Whoops, looks like they're trying to kick me out, huh? Saturn, I know you're mad, but you can't do this when they catch you. It can't do this. When they catch you, it's going to be so bad. Can you j please just act like you're pr just pranking them? There's still time. I will beg them. It's hard to read when there's no commas. Yeah. Just typing in panic. <laughs> panic typing! Also, this custom UI is really cool. I just want to mention. It is neat. This is just Renpy, I think. So it's the same. Same system. As a, like, Hotterful Boyfriend. Gotcha. Any of those. Oh. But it looks completely different. Yeah, it does. Oh, such a worry word. You've got hours to evacuate to the capital ship. They'll never engage you this far from base, and I'll be distracting them. I have it all figured out. Except for how you're going to do anything at all to accomplish that with everyone trying to kill you. Notice, base override. Remote shutdown in 20 seconds. Saturn. Try to have a little faith. Notice, base override. Remote shutdown in 15 seconds. Saturn! Calm down, geez. It doesn't take a genius to drive one of these things to the moon. Who cares which one of us does it? Or do you think I can't? Notice, base override, remote shutdown in 10 seconds. This is not the issue. The commander cares, and you know better than anyone what he likes. He's like. <laughs> what he likes. Notice, <laughs> base override, remote <laughs> shutdown in 9 seconds. I'm glad I think you it's got this word. <laughs> It's one of the moons of Saturn, I think, actually. The badass crazy ladies. Apatis would just have to get used to it, lol. She's naughty. Notice, base override. Remote shutdown in eight seconds. Saturn, what are you trying to prove? Remote shutdown in seven seconds. Six seconds. So much, Mercury. Five seconds. But give me a little credit. Hey, Rockstar. Four seconds. Three seconds. Hello, hello. I have much higher ambitions than just being a bitch. Error, IFF sequence missing. Notice, base override canceled. I almost got worried for a second, lol. Welcome assigned pilot. Full permissions granted. She does type super fast. This yeah, is not she does. in real time. No. <laughs> Saturn, I'm going to die and it will be your fault. Aw, oh, come on. I'll get this to the moon safe and sound. And let the Severance Project be complete. I'll be very good, maybe, and do everything I'm supposed to. Maybe. I know I'm the second choice, but they'd rather have that than nothing, right? Very generous of me, isn't it? They will not accept that. They will sort of have to, though, won't they? If Command didn't want me to steal one, they shouldn't have benched me indefinitely. Warning, emergency launch initiated. God damn, you so much tanner than me? How the fuck? That is kind of weird. I'm closer to the light. Rude. Let me know when he starts admitting it. She's super sassy. Morning. Hostile launch. Catapults lock. Catapult locks on. High risk of damage to your ship self. Jeez, now they're just being needy. Mercury, isn't it just the worst when someone who doesn't care anymore starts clinging just because you found someone new? Notice. Prepping weapons systems. She's mega sass. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Notice. Electro Renegade femship. Yes. Notice electrotoxin levels surging. Notice weapons operational. So gross, lol. Warning, emergency launch initiated. Ooh, pictures. She hot. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Hot. <laughs> I can't believe I really did it. I really really did it. 
Everyone who said if I was good, I'd get my chance again sure was a liar. <laughs> I got away and I've got a ship and she's all mine. You're beautiful. I want to know everything about you. I miss this so much. It's much better than the test machines when I was in the academy. She is beautiful. She's a wicked machine with a lot of secrets, and just as giddy as her pilot to be free. She's extremely responsive, eager to do everything Saturn wants. You're even worth reading the manual for. What's in you? You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Can't control yourself, E for everyone! <laughs> ah. But Saturn already Favorites. knows everything in the manual and more. It's a very cagey document that doesn't do the ship justice, and is certainly hiding something. There's plenty of information on, her, on how to use her electromagnetic poisons, and how to cheat distance and gravity. And all of that is fun, but none of that really tells her the first thing about how to be a ship. This is useless. How can this help diagnose anything when they don't know the first thing about being a ship? So wrong. Way too dry. That's not what it's like at all. It's a body that's also a soul. It means exactly what it is. That's why it's small, curved in wicked edges in some places, but curved in soft ways elsewhere. Sharp claws and deadly tail, but cute enough to hug. Duh. So perfectly suited for Saturn, one has to understand exactly why they wouldn't give it to her. Really perfect. Fits better than a human body. That's reason enough to disobey everyone and run off with it, isn't it? Oh, speaking of. Aw, more threatening emails from a. P what, how did I say I was gonna say? Apatus? Apatus? Missing me already. I don't know if it's a cat or some kind of like. It's a human. It just has a tail and ears. Oh! Oh! It's that's. curled up in a fetal position. Totally not how I was picturing this. Oh, yeah. I thought this was the eye and this was the head and oh, the ears and it had little feet and a tail that went behind <laughs> it. No, it's a person. <laughs> it's a Gundam or a... I know, guys, I thought this was an eye like a, and this was a mouth. Oh, I clicked. That's okay. And I, I thought this was a mouth and this was the head and the ears. Yeah, I totally didn't realize. It is a ship. It's just, it's like a Gundam or a Voltron. There's only one Voltron. Or, um, Ava? Eva? Ah. What are they called in Evangelion? I didn't watch Evangelion. Going to X-rate it with the ship? I wouldn't be surprised. Looks a bit like a kitty. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it, it's apparently the top is the head, and I just didn't realize that. In the time it takes him to realize that, I'm sure I... Oh, I can go... No, I can't go back. In the time it takes him to realize might, that, uh, I'm I don't sure know I can those find are. something... Dialogue? Fun to do in this system. Data log. Oh. This is the scenarios. Well, never mind. Zoids? I don't know. Zoid, yeah. Oh, okay. That was, um, yeah. Time to test you out and see if it's really true. Can you give me everything I want down to the last drop? Oh, my. Should I read? Since you've, read, you've been reading um, a lot. I'll read this. Oh, okay. You might be difficult. You might not. Brood? It's I'll January 1st, 1980, and the long and cold war where humanity united against its nemesis, an existential threat from beyond the stars, has been over for a long time. Since the 50s, we have been fighting a war against an existential threat that we cannot understand, cannot perceive, and is powerless against the technology of Earth. That is a pretty stupid sort of war to fight, isn't it? When there's enough of a mess down here to worry about. Humanity is already the undisputed authority of reality, and we have the physics to prove it. It's time to return to Earth, our home, the seat of the universe. Before Earth takes us back in pieces, let's go home with grace. On the first anniversary of the decommissioning of the International Space Program, we, Memorial Foundation, Native Sphere Existential Safety, in agreement with our home planet's unanimous decision, declare, there is no future for humanity in space. Let's come home. From the return resolution, Memorial Foundation, Native Sphere Existential Safety. 
They were saying rude to you for me. Yeah. I just Jesse, what Crested said, basically queers in space. Yes. That's yep. Basically. Yeah. Rude. Well. It's January first, nineteen. Do you want to read this one? Sure. Okay. It's January 1st, 1981. It's been one year since we declared independence from Memorial Foundation and the rest of Earth. The Cold War is officially over, and it feels so light, without their gravity weighing us down. How can a tiny handful of colonies, terraformers, and schools hold out against the full authority of Earth? Because that shit doesn't fly past escape velocity. Escape. To power the ship selves, we made... A to power the ship selves we made to fight the Cold War, we made tidal resonators to bring the gravity necessary for humans and culture to survive in space. And that gravity is ours now. Enough to make a new world, free from the weight of Earth. If Memorial Foundation wants to kill the future, they'll have to come and take it from us. We're thankful for our Cradle's Graces, but we're not coming back. Independence Declaration Cradle's Graces. Cradle's Graces exactly. were Pluto, Fender. weren't they? Yeah. Hi, Vader. Hello, hello. Queers in space. That's a uh, Mel, Mel Brooks. Yeah. In order to break free from weight. Yep. Exactly. It's January 25th, 1981. Memorial Foundation and Cradle's Graces have been having fun for a little over a year, and nothing is breaking the stalemate. Earth is getting impatient. They have good reason to believe that the existential threat posed by a divided humanity in space is much greater than any theoretically malevolent entity outside the native sphere. While the kids are fighting, Earth is getting ready to list the humans remaining in space as part of the existential threat, and when they do, they'll send real weapons and end this war fought with plastic toys. Their justification? We are technically less than 100% human, just not human enough to be something else. It's hard to believe they're really on to us. It's time to make a drastic move. Bring our final piece, the prototype ship self string of pearls we made in the atmosphere of planet which Cronus, stole. which will never be Saturn, to the lunar gravity well. <laughs> which, well. You're saying they renamed Saturn or remade it. Oh, gotcha. Which will never be Saturn. To the lunar gravity well, while Memorial Foundation and Cradle's Graces are already headed, whoever controls that place controls human access to space. We can be sure everything will be in place there. Earth or space, we are just short of 100% human. So let's see how much less than 100% we can get. Internal report, Celestial Mechanics. Alrighty. So there's your Synopsis. setup. Day one! What the fuck? Okay, so Saturn this return. This is our mission select. Oh. So we have a UI. This is our ship's UI. Is what's going on here. Thank God you're here with me. <laughs> All right. It's really cool what they've managed to implement in Renpy. It looks cool. I'm confused. Um, so we have two missions we could select. Saturn return. In the strange gravity of the abandoned Daphnis lab, Saturn lies in wait for the looming threat of Pluto's mysterious ship. But what are they after, and will they get it? Or, joy, Joyride Killjoy. Weaving in and out of the sixth planet's rings, Memorial Foundation's ace, Luna Terra, plays cat and mouse with the renegade ship thief Saturn. So basically, who do we want our romance? I think that's what we're doing here. So this selects which scenario we read next. Pluto or Luna Terra? Yes. Who, which one do you guys want? Well, we should look the rest oh, of the Oh, never first. mind. So we have male and alerts. Think alert. about who you want us to go for. As Saturn. All right. This background. So. Oh. Yeah. Neat. So subject, truce ending effective immediately. This is originated so from Native Sphere Mass Communication. <laughs> what? Fuck Luna. Oh. I mean, what? <laughs> Space becoming inhuman. Oh, uh, my God. Do you think there's a big poofy dog and an alcoholic in this one, too? Oh, my God, yes. Yes. God, what about? Um, to Memorial Foundation Existential Safety. To all members of the formal Memorial Foundation Native Sphere Existential Research Division, now known as Celestial Mechanics, 
This message serves as a formal acknowledgement that this branch has violated our trust and broken the provisions of the 1981 Memorial Foundation consensus by violating Clause 3, the development of a variable gravity engine, and Clause 7, installation of a variable gravity engine into the ship's self string of pearls. It is a visual novel. It is not a text adventure. No. Right. Um, Celestial Mechanics will no longer be listed as part of Memorial Foundation. They will be formally relisted as an independent entity and considered a true existential threat by Memorial Foundation Native Sphere Existential Safety. We are still offering forgiveness, so please defect as soon as possible while the appeal grace period is still in effect. Otherwise, please otherwise expect tidal retaliation for existential endangerment of human culture. That was sent by Halamid, Princess, Memorial Foundation Native Sphere Existential Safety. <laughs> First one. Subject, your apparent promotion from Apatus. Your apparent promotion. Good job, Saturn. Oh, this is, you should read him. Good job, Saturn. <laughs> There's no point in being angry with you, so I'll choose to be proud of you instead. I'll refrain from having you sunk, since that's counterproductive to our intentions for that unit. You were a reserve candidate, after all, so you'll do fine. Try not to make it too much of a pain in the ass for me. I'll have Mercury reassigned to you since she, since he apparently, oh, I didn't realize it was him. Yeah, I figured it was. Oh, well. Since he apparently doesn't have a say in the matter. How nostalgic. The two of you had so much potential. Well, he knows how to do his job, at least. Do you, do your best to not get the string of pearls sunk. We'll absolutely wash you out of the biological interface and reassign you permanently if we get the chance. So prove you're competent enough and neither of us will have wasted our time. His name, division lead, celestial habitus. I wonder what sunk. Like, obviously, it, it's. I guess slang. just slang. Yeah, I think it's slang for sinking, but just cra- crashing it. Yeah. Luna makes me want to know their backstory, while Pluto gives me the. Is she really this type of person? Or, or a second a, side. Yeah. I can see that. I um, feel like I mean maybe it's just me, but I'm thinking it works well to have. Saturn go after Luna, Luna go after Pluto, and Pluto go after Saturn. But maybe that's just me. I just want to see the hot hate sex. I mean, what? what? (laughs) Uh, Do we want to talk to Mercury? Don't talk to me. What can we say? Anything? Look look at his bio. A boy in space on purpose. Consummate. Consummate. Bridge bunny. Oh my god. Not responsible for Saturn. I mean, as long as you validate that. All right. Saturn is an insufferable horror creature. Forward all complaints to Mercury. Oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, I guess we'll talk to him. Why not? You, oh, it's you. You literally messaged me first, you nerd. OMG. Harpy. Rude. Rude. Come on, baby, I'm sorry. What can I do to make it up to you? Give back the ship. Come on. I'm obviously not doing that. Please, I'm begging you. Listen to reason. You have so much left to live for. Oh, Mercury, come on. We both know that's not true. What do you want from me? A list of girls who will shoot me out of orbit? God. Anyways, don't be a crybaby. I'm fine. Saturn, you are extremely wrong if you think that there is a chance I'm going at all worried about you. If you come back, all will be forgiven, but you need to bring it back. Mercury, it's fun playing, but I don't think you've been listening at all. Mercury, it's not that ship anymore. It's me. Mercury, you wouldn't ask me to give up my own self, would you? I'm sailing on a ship of myself now, and I'm not giving it up until gravity drags me back kicking and screaming. I can't deal with you. Aw, thanks, baby. Kiss, kiss. What a bitch. You are a nightmare, and I'm having... And I'm giving up trying to save you from yourself. Is this a literal suicide mission? I don't know. Because she kind of hinted at that. She's not very happy. I think it's more like this was everything she was working toward in her life. And And then when they, like, permanently... (laughs) Benched her. uh, Yeah. You and the ship are one. I think it is that trope where, like, you interface with the ship on like a neural level that makes sense like um pacifica kind of yeah kind of 
I'm trying to think of it. I don't watch much Giant Robot. You don't. Uh, Shy Guy would know more, I think. So. Who watches a lot of anime? Spiritual level. Maybe. I love you. What a bitch. I hate you so <laughs> much. I feel like I should be reading Mercury. I know. <laughs> oh, you can't stay mad at me. I can't, and it's horrible, but my revenge will come because literally everyone else in the universe can. Evangelion, yeah. Oh, darn. Guess I should have fun while it lasts. Saturn, if you defect, I cannot protect you. I, I Ip is, is furious, and he's going to come personally for you if you don't come back. I told you I'd do all the missions. What, don't you believe me? Lol. Lol. <laughs> Said that weird. Obviously not. Lol. Fair. Okay, let me ask this. Do you think I'd give up on the aversion project? Go on. Apatis wanted us to fight for a new self beyond a ship self, but not even get a taste until the end. Fuck that. My house now. Tell me which of the two of us you trust less, Mercury. <laughs> Channel closed. That was fast. Alrighty then. That was so he doesn't abrupt. like their supervisor. Yeah. Uh, I think this. Yeah. Okay. This is options. Alignment. Oh, so it'll kind of oh. tell us our progress. I think this is like. So obviously we're building toward a war between the three factions, right? Or over the making moon. out. Or making out. So I think that's what this is. Or maybe this is our alignment with the three factions. I want making out. I like these logos. They're really sweet. Could be cool pins. So this yes. is who we're with. We who we were with. Right. Celestial mechanics. Uh, party just, with the weird named yeah, person. The yeah. All the parties. Uh. So what do we want to do? Well, Crested voiced their opinion. Yes. <laughs> voiced. Voiced. Clearly. <laughs> I think, I agree, only because I think it would be interesting to have Saturn with um, Luna Terra, especially because obviously she's chasing her. But then in Luna's go after Pluto, and Pluto go after Saturn. But that's just my preference. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, Joyride, kill Joy. Let's do it. Oh god. Launch. I hope there's no failing. That's Mercury. Oh my god, that's hella loud. Is it loud is it for loud? you guys? Like, is it's it drowning it us loud. out? Because if it's drowning us out, that's a problem. Don't cats usually eat mice? Maybe. They play with them. <laughs> you hit about the same loudness. I go a little past. Yeah. So I'll turn it down. Hello, volume. Okay, it's drowning out. Down not too. Oh, uh, that might be a little lot. It's not even. That was. That even should that be much. fine. Wow, that just means it's really loud. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, that should help you. What? <laughs> Let me know if it's still too loud. Yeah. Uh, please tell me how long you're going to be engaging, engaged in this. Hold on. Actually, it's loud for us, it so I'm gonna turn it down. No, don't you do that. Okay. Because I can't do that. So I'm turning it down for us. It's like, it's, we know the devil all over again. Okay, there we go. Okay. I think that's good, better, okay. Yeah, let us know. He looks like- Oops, sorry. He could totally actually be do to a character in Phoenix Wright. Oh my God, he does. All right. Please tell me how long you're going to be engaged in this. May I stress again? Incredibly dangerous, giant waste of time. Until they start some, sending someone interesting after me, Mercury. The whole fleet would be after you if you hadn't damaged the entire la launch hangar bay. And same thing. Could when they... you stole that. Could they even take me out while I'm flying this thing? No. But it won't stop him from trying. Oh my god. Music Are wants you to do commentary over us. I was wondering that. That'd be interesting. They definitely have a lot of history. Yeah, because I mean, he can't hate her. That, or, yeah. But. <laughs> right. 
And let me stress this info packet is a gift purely to prevent your ship self from falling into enemy hands and not an indication of any sort of forgiveness. Not at it's all. It's not the sausage of forgiveness. I'm disappointed. It's from a way out. Oh, there was okay. There was a sausage being grilled and Kita okay. was mad at me, so I ate it to have her forgive me. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Let me worry about it. Ap Apatus, Mercury. I should look that up. He's going to be a lot less grumpy when I clear the way for us and Celestial Mechanics to return to the native sphere. I've got it all figured out. You absolutely don't, but okay. Did you read the info packet? Ace Memorial Foundation pilot Luna Terra in hot pursuit with escorts. Planned an attack on the lab. Arrived after you escaped. Do not, do not engage under any circumstances. Boring. But this part was good. I don't expect you to control your impulses, but even given that you're just like that, she is the last person you should be trying to fight on purpose. Sounds like I should definitely fight her on purpose, right? I hate you. Oh, come on. The carrier is never going to make it out of the system if I don't. You don't know how to pilot your ship, and she's a veteran since the Cold War. You're going to get yourself captured and humiliated, and the ship trashed. So you're saying there's no downside? Why are you doing this to me? And she's six foot one, huh? Mm. Your attention to detail is so useful sometimes. Oh, her eyes. <laughs> You're using me to cruise? Your taste is so awful. Ugh, I hate you. Oops, looks like one of her escorts is in range. Sorry, gotta go. Surprise is all I've got, you know? Hey. Um, do you want to voice her or me? And you could switch to Saturn. What do you I want to do? I feel like she's more of your aesthetic. Is this game child appropriate? I'm gonna say that's probably the child's guardian to decide, but probably not. Yeah. Hi, it's, Tia. There's definitely strong adult themes. At least the words are visually, there might not be anything. Yeah. But the words will be possibly. And probably suggestive. some like philosophically scary concepts. Well, on what if you're a is. kid, they might not so think that hard. Funny. But, um, also, I think she matches your aesthetic more, <laughs> but you might, I think you like Saturn more. So it's it up to matter. you. You're looking up how to, no, it's IA. Yeah, it is IA. Trying to look up how to say it. Let Saturn enjoy her mistakes. Apatis works, yeah. Yeah. Depending <laughs> on the Disney movies, yeah. Probably safe, just in case, Jesse. Depending on the Disney movie. <laughs> All Disney movies are fine. Um, sure, I'll voice her, and you can switch to Saturn. Okay. Are you? Then what do we do about Mercury? No, 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 no. we'll figure it out. I don't think he's going to talk much now, though. That the introduction is over. Oh, you think? Yeah. Okay. He was just like base control. Okay. And now we're in like the the episode proper begins. Episode proper. It's an anime. Uh I feel like Cat matches Saturn's personality more. Pro well, that's what we were saying yeah. about Mercury and Saturn. I'm more like Saturn yeah. and you're more like Mercury. I wish Europa would stop sending me boys who can't control themselves. Having fun dismantling my escorts. Hot. With the string of Pearl's fingers, Saturn carefully peels the mechanical musculature out of the poor ship's arm she's holding, a souvenir of the last of Lunatera's escorts that she sent crying too easily back to their base. It's still sparking and oozing, and Saturn wishes her ship had a mouth so she could suck it out like crab meat. Not child appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not that. But it might get worse. Maybe it does have a mouth. The machine has many mysteries the manual doesn't explain, and Saturn is still learning them. 
Uh, like loot. Oh my. Like s fighter escorts. Like, uh, yeah. Though I suppose Europa's learned her lesson about sending me girls who can't control themselves. Oh, really? Hey, that's really interesting. Mind telling me more? Or the ship's gonna fuck. Maybe? Giggity. <laughs> oh, she's a hacker, too? How amusing. There's nothing too interesting on this comm frequency. Aw, you flatter me. We are playing Heaven Will Be Mine by the same some people, cool people. The same some people cool who people. did uh, we, know we Know the, the Devil. Devil. Which I love their art style so much. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, draw me. <laughs> but hey, what did that mean exactly? The part about the girls who can't control themselves? I really want to hear more. It means back up that talk first. Damn. Or can you land a hit off the comms? Rude. Lunaterra's gravitational field focuses to a single point. Lunaterra isn't budging. She's been through much worse, and so has her ship, followed always by a thin trail from a bleeding wound she can never completely repair. The Mare Chrysium is over two decades old, but Saturn can't even land a hit. It's regal and stiff, dressed in cold metallics, weathered and refurbished. The archetypal prototype for all other ship selves, still going after all these years. Still furiously untouchable. The string of pearls hasn't gone down no matter how much the String of Pearls hasn't gone down, no matter how much she's been rammed with that spear, but she hasn't even nicked Lunaterra's ship once. I had to pause for a minute. Dude! <laughs> Not bad at all for a joyride, but you still can't- but you can't get one hit in? Good thing you don't- good thing you don't win by looking cool. No mercy for newbies? No. The startles me from Did it? Aww. Thank you so much. Whoop whoop. Thank you so much for two months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good. That startled me. I didn't me. expect the music to loop. Throw all the love in chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Using your mind already? Yeah, so many innuendos. So I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of innuendos. Yeah. I mean, I would say I'm worried about it being on Twitch, but at the same time, they allowed me to have it as a category for a game, which yeah, means I'm that the sure. creators have already asked, hey, can this game be official? So. Lunaterra puts a stake of solid light to the string of Pearl's leg, pins it to its own gauze wrapper. It doesn't hurt at all. The ship's metals begin molding and reforming around the wound immediately. A ridiculous, unfair advantage. Saturn has no right to complain, but she still wants to. But she is trying to be cool. Everyone wants to, when in the quiet gleam of that always bleeding ship. That's a pretty amazing ship. Think of a last? Either you're fighting just for fun, because you're that reckless, or you're caught in your own or you're caught in your own containment wrapper and can't escape orbit yet. And you'd beat me for sure if I played around. I'm not done yet. That's not true. It's actually very difficult to move with a solid light bullet in your leg. But she's not going to let that stop her. Saturn is suddenly closer than she logically could be, claws bubbling, but Lunaterra effortlessly slips away and kicks Saturn's ship directly in the chest. Rude? Yeah, you're done. The containment wrapper is still stuck to you, so your movement's off. Doesn't seem to have stopped you that much. Right? It was so rude of them to try and stop me. It seems cruel to take it away when you're having so much fun with it. Same as you, right? Hmm? Do I know you? Everyone knows Memorial Foundation's perfect ace. But do I know you? That's... So I do, don't I? Let me out of this thing and I'll tell you. <laughs> Why should I? Because you can't help yourself. Besides, don't you want a real fight? Can you promise it'll go differently? different. I can promise it'll be more fun. You're asking me, for me, to totally abandon my duty to bring you back and do that instead? What? You won't? The legendary pilot who def 
Acted, right? Yes, defected. <laughs> Legendary pilot who defected from Memorial Foundation, then double-crossed the rebels. She abandoned them for can't be opposed to a little fooling around with the enemy. The legendary pilot who defected from Memorial Foundation, Bitch. then double-crossed the rebels she abandoned them for, can't be opposed to a little fooling around with the enemy. I read it fine. I just had wrong pausing. <laughs> what I'll, kind I'll of? You. I think different than just getting her ass kicked. Hi, shiny. Hello, hello. Brown chicka brown clove. Dots. Bowling Otter. Oh, oh it's auto-hosting. Still, hello from anyone from Bowling Otter's auto-host. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they aren't streaming tonight. No, last night. I guess you do know me. Want to trust each other? From the backstabber? Or is it more fun if we don't? Saturn gets embarrassed. It's more fun if they don't. Luna gets owned. Um, it's more fun if they do trust each other and Saturn gets embarrassed. That outcome favors the Memorial Foundation. Or it's more fun if they don't trust each other and Lunatera gets owned. Outcome favors Celestial What mechanics. do you think will get us banged? Oh my god. I don't think we're going to get banged on day one. I'm just saying I don't want to accidentally like piss her off. I, I don't would, know. I want... What is Lunatera's pronoun? I think, I think they're all she, women. I think they're all women. Yeah. She. Or at least they go by she. Yeah. Uh, but. I don't know Bleach. So. I have no idea either. I ask that question um, every day. It's a good question. So basically, do we want to favor? Long-term bang? <laughs> exactly. What's the long-term bang? Lunatera's foundation. Lunatera's faction or Saturn's faction. Mechanically. So... I would, I would say favoring her own faction is going to cause more war because it's fighting uh, against the other two. But the only problem with favoring her faction, Luna's faction, is that Luna double-crossed them. So what attachment like does she, them or something. Yeah, like what does she have as an attachment yeah. to them? So I don't know your call. My call? Yes. What's gonna get those in those sweet us in those sweet panties? Exactly. All right, let's do this one. Okay. Never forgotten every story told. How was that? Did it hurt? They're in the mechs, aren't they? That's a picture of them in the mechs behind us. Yes. Oh my god. It's just weird. It's weirder that it doesn't hurt. It's easier for Lunaterra to cut through the malleable flesh of the string of pearls directly than untangle her from the wrapper. The flesh reforms quickly, so she has to work patiently. I'm confused. Um, but... So basically... I what do you mean what... by bang? Um... 18 plus. <laughs> 18 plus. <laughs> um... Mm. The panties emote. Yeah, the panties! I think the idea is that it was like in storage. So there was. It was like literally wrapped in. Oh, like so she's like wrap. helping it get and freer? Because she didn't know, do a correct launch sequence. Gotcha. The all that says material it all. still. Are, so it's hindering the flight gotcha. characteristics. <laughs> String of pearls might be impossible to destroy. Even if Saturn can't land a hit, Lunaterra feels like, somehow, she's the one who got lucky. If this hurt, you'd never be able to fight. Your brain is giving you more nuanced information. You're very sensitive. Lucky. You'll get used to it. If you are serious about next time, think of yourself as something a little bigger. Hmm, I like that. Being big. I'm glad I trusted you. And this is... Ship. Yeah, that's her ship. Stop shaking, then. Or ask me to go easier. <sighs> to be fair, just a little easier. Of course. Do you remember me yet? I thought you'd remember the name of at least some of the girls you've made out with in the supply closets. Damn. Dots. Your face! Just kidding, but sorry, it was worth it. 
You weren't kidding about still being dangerous. Every pilot knows you. By both of your reputation, reputations. Reputations. You're definitely Saturn. Because no one hated me as much as you. So now I'm curious why you don't anymore. Bangity bang. If I tell you, you'll owe me extra. So save it for the next time you catch me. <laughs> well, I'll just have to catch you again quick. All free. Now get out before someone catches us. Rude. I stand this game. <laughs> Day, Day two. two. What? Oh, that's neat. So 25% Memorial Foundation. But it's... It's even, like, Im like weighted. Mm -hmm. So we use this as a simple way to teach gravity. The idea is that the more mass an object has, the deeper of a gravity well there is. Science! Uh. For those that do not know, River was a physics major, but then switched halfway for into like geology. Half a year. Not I even. thought you were for like two years, it and then you switched. Like two years. <laughs> I didn't give half a year, two years, same thing. Uh, and then geology. I mean, the first two years is just like gen eds, though. So. It wasn't at our school. Mm, kind of. It was like half. So we have two new emails. Other... Science. We have interviews with Mercury. All right. And we have uh, recommended tactics from our ship's documentation. All right. It is adorable. And I'm delayed refreshing. No problem. Uh, Innuendo Mecca and Chick Stream. And it awesome. <laughs> so these are interviews from Mercury's pilot intake interview. Do you want to read Mercury again? Sure. I'll read the interviewer. Okay. Don't worry. It's just a checkup. Historically untrustworthy scenario. It's just questions. I promise. That's not really a great way to put my mind, set my mind at ease. Let's just answer the questions, okay, wise guy? Fine. Have you experienced a sense of vertigo or loss of balance for a period lasting more than two minutes in the last month? No. Have your eating habits changed at all recently? No. Have your... No. Mercury, work with me, please. You work with me. Why? You work with me. If I absolutely promise neither I nor anyone else will do anything at all to stop you from being exactly who you want, or from whatever changes you need, will you at least answer my questions? Sometimes. Maybe. Okay. That's good enough for me. We're just curious if it's a side effect of life in space, or the educational programming of Dr. Nix, or in reference to the behavior of Apatus. No, that's backwards. Everyone else seems to get to do whatever they want without limits in space. Why is it weird when I do, when I do it? We want to test for the effects of space alone, so self-induced changes have to be controlled for. Don't ask what's in my endocr endocr endocrine. endocrine endocrine system. That's my endocrine system. Fine, it's testosterone, and I put it there because I wanted it there. Is that enough? Well, I guess that is what I needed to know. If you promise not to ask me about it again, I'll give you all the data I cataloged about the changes. Okay, I get it. You're starting to get it. Stop treating me like a girl, and I'll know you've really got it. So, trans man? Yes. Yes. Mercury! High five. <laughs> Can't high five yourself. I'm high-fiving myself for the fictional character that can't high-five me. Uh, this is recommended tactics. Transfer! Extract from the String of Pearls documentation manual. The String of Pearls is configured for specific outward expressions of gravity, tidal forces. The dissonant rhythm of this reactor makes peaceful tidal communication risky and difficult. Be cautious despite the range and penetration this unit is capable of. The electromagnetic conductors have liquefied the electrical energy into a corrupting material, a form of theoretical matter that should be used as the primary engagement tool. <laughs> Wendy's chicken nuggets and, and Riesling. Riesling. Riesling wine. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a beautiful pairing. That's hysterical. Mod pizza. As uh. a seducer saboteur model, the unit's functions are inherently insidious. Rude. Rather than armor, the plastics are infinitely malleable and regenerate. 
It is safer to take damage head-on as an opportunity to infect rather than avoid, but the unit can be contained, restrained, and impeded physically and tidally. Penetration. That's why I was <laughs> laughing. This I... is an alternate 1980s where everyone's gotten really good at innuendo. Yeah! Like, real good at it. Uh, comms? Uh, oh, we have to do both. That's oh. interesting. Damn. Well, I guess we can Because we have to get to know all the characters. Yeah, I but guess. we waited it in yeah. her, yeah. so we can just not wait it in her faction. Right. All right. Mercury, li oh wait, so wait. Either way. Okay. Mercury, listen, it's an emergency. I'm sorry about everything, but it's important. You have to tell Commander that I'm getting so laid. I'm logging off. Bye. I was not fooled for even a second that this would be useful. Really? Not even for a second. I no longer experience hope as a concept. Deep. You freed me from it. Aw, stop. I'm blushing. What do you want from me, Saturn? Do you know any discreet places to make out in on Aries? 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 Goodbye, Saturn. <laughs> Aries, yeah. Also, here's the test output to date. Saturn. Goodbye. Aren't you going to read me the data analysis? If it is indeed data you are sending this time and not just nudes. That's rude. I always ask before I send them to you. I don't mind acting as the official art director of Saturn's nudes, since you need it so badly, and it's substantially less tedious than data analysis. <laughs> but if you were as punctual about sending data as cockpit oh. selfies, I would have a lot more data to report. <laughs> That's amazing. Why are you so incredulous all the time? Incredulous. That! <laughs> you stole the prototype, might I remind you? Calm me down. <laughs> you can't just continue the field testing uh, as if nothing happened. A bunch of horny high school students? Um, just... Well, oh, I would say 20s. just this one. Because, like, Luna wasn't really... Yeah, Luna's, like, in her she, 30s or yeah. 40s. She's been oh, yeah. active since the beginning of the Cold uh, War, they said. So for, like, 20 years or something. <laughs> also, if I did say hi to anyone, let me know. I will say hi cockpit selfie before why not because why would you do anything you didn't want to do dots <laughs> what are you planning oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna start texting you like that uh, fine <laughs> I'm just gonna text forever a bunch of col semicolons and uh, be. They've been dying for it anyway. Cool, how'd I do? Dots. Dots. Banged. Ugh, oh, this is. not bad. It's pretty useful. He typed through tears. Don't rub it in. <laughs> Crest, it's I can't believe your ship self's expanded so much already. What have you been doing with it? I think I have been hinting very clearly how. I instantly regret this question. You're supposed to test the prototype in combat. Same difference. I can't believe we invented a ship designed to get into trouble and didn't think. Oh, Saturn is the obvious choice for this. We both know why. You were an even more obvious choice than me. Fuck Apatis, Apatis, fuck Apatis for throwing us both out like trash. Come on, aren't you a little happy to see a little havoc in this perfect garden? I'll be looking forward to you collecting <laughs> new data. Atta boy! Oh my god. I keep hearing these names and my mind reverts to Sailor Moon. Yep. I mean, yeah. I mean that's a long. That's their intention, because that's in we know the devil. Know the they devil were all uh, sailor. It was a lot more references. obvious because weren't they like the sailor scouts? Scout. They I think? were some sort of scout. I don't think they were sailor scouts. Yeah. I think they were blank scouts. Yeah. But like, yeah, pretty much. Appears to be the free love sass machine. 
We, we, we. Is the oldest character, I believe. She is scarred and war torn. War worn. Right. That's what it seems like. <laughs> uh, hi, Josephine. Hello, hello. You developed this game. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Which, Welcome! Which dev are you? I'm sorry. Uh, aww! And thank you. Thank you so much! Guys, grab it! Somebody grab it! Somebody that wants the game, obviously, but grab it! Aww. aww thank you so much! Hello! <laughs> thanks for playing and thanks for tuning in, Chad. Thank you for stopping by! Thank you for dropping a code for someone! Thank you, thank you! Hey, thank you for making it. This is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We're enjoying it. It's super cool. We, we, we. Gonna crash more streams. Love you. You're awesome. Thank you. Go have fun. Thank you so much. Hey, curse you, Steam update. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We'll see who gets it first. That was awesome. Ah, guys. I don't have Steam or laptop to play with. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god that was cool <laughs> hi and bye yeah congrats to whoever gets the code or to whoever gets the game hi this... rainbow scape this game is uh basically queers in space heaven but will be mine heaven will be mine uh it is about girls who control mechs in space and you have to decide whether or not you want to fight each other or wow. bang i want to bang bang it a bang Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> um, so we have to do this mission now. We this... made the perfect emoji for this today. I know, and it's not done. <laughs> like, it's not approved yet. But I do have the wee, wee, wee waiting. In um, the strange gravity of the abandoned Daphnis lab, Saturn lies in wait for the looming threat of Pluto's mysterious ship. Aw, so I'm sorry. But what are they after? Crested, did they you get grab it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Aw, saw. That was like amazing timing and amazing moment. That was moment. good timing. Hey. What do you mean? I can feel her presence. Please do not try to sound that cool. I can feel her presence. Everyone can feel her presence. I can feel it right now. How could you? Oops. What? That's Mercury talking. Yeah, but we switched. Yeah. So that's oh, fine. Oh, that's true. Okay. No, I didn't grab it, but I'm forever using that emote. <laughs> Cruise your Steam updates and two-factor authentication. Oh, no. Saw turtles. Especially when I feel flirty in chat. Legit. Wee, wee, wee. Shut up. I mean, I can feel it physically. Oh. Wait. Like. Wait, what? Like how? Like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Like, it's like I'm spinning upside down and can't stop. Are you sure you haven't somehow concussed yourself or given yourself gravity sickness from all of the damage you managed to inflict on yourself in the past 12 hours? Yes, and it's on top of all of that. And also, shut up. String of Pearls is feeding me sensory information on the direct line. I'm a human being with five senses and she's trying to cram a dozen more into me. By direct line, you were in fact Ready? talking about the extremely creepy physical interface connection between you and the String of Pearls, correct? It really, really is, right? It's truly incredible how we agree about everything and still feel the opposite about it. Is this why you keep hesitating before giving me intel? Yes, because you're going to do the exact opposite of what you should do with it. But also, but I also can't not tell you because you might die. So running support for you is an incredibly anxiety-inducing affair. It must be hard. Thank you for acknowledging it. So you gonna tell me what it's after? But why it's at, tell me it's, it's after, what's after me? me. <laughs> You've already figured it out, haven't you? But yes, it's that Cradle's Grace's masterwork. Celestial Mechanics traded the knowledge for how to finish String of Pearls in exchange for what they needed to finish the Crun Macula? Macula. Macula. It would be pretty funny if they got us this way in the end. Hi, Katie Scoob. Hello, hello. It's headed directly to the lab. We've already evacuated on the capital ship, but you are its highest priority. Should I play bait? 
If anything, it's more important for you to get back to the native sphere first. In order for us to make contact, we need the String of Pearls. We believe if you hide in the abandoned Daphnis lab, you can use the decaying gravity furnace for cover. Ah, that's sensible. But bait sounds like a lot more fun, you know? Really? Oh, come on! Epidus must think their pilot is a real idiot if she's going to waste her time on a wild goose chase like that. He wouldn't just sacrifice you like that. He would. There must be backups for making contact. Just because I'm the easiest option doesn't mean that I'm the only one. He's testing to see if I'm worth investing in or just going to get myself killed. Why run? Why not have it out with her? I bet she's thinking the same thing too. Be careful, Saturn. If you can tell what they're thinking, they can tell what you're thinking. Please, if I really could do something like that, they wouldn't have kicked me out of the pilots. Then how do you know the pilots are she? Because boys can't pilot. Daphnis, the tiny shepherd moon, so small it barely earns the name, tumbles through the Keller Gap, ruffling the rings of the planet it orbits. Is Wing Zero an anime? I don't know. I was thinking it does sound like Zero Interface or Beyond Interface. I don't know what that is. Have it out with her. Hey. So the Keller Gap is one of the gaps in the rings of Saturn. We found okay. out that there are a variety of moons orbiting in the rings. And oh. they sort of keep the rings, their gravity helps keep the rings in shape. Oh. Keeps them together. Because otherwise Saturn wouldn't have the rings for long on a the scale. Space time scale. Gotcha. Oh, is it Gundam? Got you. <laughs> Cat. <Gotcha. laughs> it houses the last official laboratory of Earth's decommissioned space program. Training ground of failures like Saturn and special girls like Pluto. Saturn remembers it feeling cramped, anxious, and scary. No, wait, Pluto remembers it that way. Saturn remembers when it used to feel so special to be chosen, a candidate for the last generation of pilots. But didn't Pluto feel that way too? Sometimes, two things are true. In this place, gravity is quietly degenerating, and distances are becoming ambiguous between past and present, between you and me. The Daphnis lab seems smaller to Saturn now, although not as tiny as it feels to Pluto. And that's obvious. No longer people-sized, she tears through it like worms in an apple. It's an anime called Gundam Wing. Pretty boys in love with mechs and explosions. Yes. <laughs> but there's a much bigger worm here, and she doesn't know anymore if this friend. was a good idea. Where what is it? Where what was a good idea. Oh. Saturn doesn't... You start reading the white. Okay. Saturn doesn't have any ideas. She's just trying to hide. Even though there's no place where you cannot be felt by me. So, Pluto. Even though there's no place where you cannot... Yeah, okay. Alert. Alert. Title resonance. IFF confirms enemy. Warning. Gravitational hazard. Danger. Pressure exceeding safe range. I know, it's extremely exciting. Stop making me so nervous. Supermassive. Small enough to hide in this complex, but with a dual reactor denser than the entire moon compressed into the head of a pin. An hour ago, and Saturn felt the gravitational pull of something so big and so close and so powerful, the interior of her cockpit creaked with the pressure, and her head, heart, and eyes welled up with tears. Something that couldn't be anyone other than Pluto. Cool. She must be pretty big, huh? So why is she so hard to find? Saturn has no idea. Why do I have a feeling someone's laughing at me? No one is laughing at Saturn. The lab's been abandoned for years. But Pluto, wherever she is, giggles. Bird. Hi, Miss Manga Chick. Hi, Connor. Hi, Connor Black. Hello. Not in a mean way. She really does think it's cute. I haven't thought about Pluto in a long time. Oh man, it would be really funny if she was in that monster. Well, now someone is laughing at Saturn. Hey, hmm, now I know someone's here. 
I can feel you listening, but I can hear you too. And I can catch you. You're not the only one who can fuck with the narrative. So are we trying to I don't know, lean it's up to you. I don't know. <laughs> Do we want to have a narrow escape with the outcome favoring celestial mechanics? Or mutually assured destruction? Outcome favoring Cradle's graces. I would say if we do narrow escape, isn't that leaning more towards Luna? This is leaning more toward herself. And this is leaning more toward Pluto's faction. Right. Yes. So if your aim is to go after Luna Terra, yes. we should probably do pick... ourselves. Okay. Is that what you were thinking? That's fine. No, is that what you were about to say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't care which one we do. Celestial Mechanics advances. Oh yeah, her llama sits that now. It's easiest to not get caught. It's easiest to not get caught if you don't care about catching anything. It's just about knowing there isn't a difference. And focusing deeper. And focusing deeper. The real celestial mechanics, the interactions of bodies in space, via the forces of gravity, the weight of mass and culture. Explained by the story behind them. That's just science. With your own gravity, reach out and pull. Good girl. You She's know Azula! just what to do. Do you like what you caught? The Crun Macula towers over Saturn. That's cool looking. Pluto's ship is so big it barely fits in the lab complex. But it's only a speck compared to how big it feels. Massive enough to warp local space-time, humming and vibrating with nebula dust, and absolutely, effortlessly gentle. Without Pluto's most delicate touch, the Crun Macula would have destroyed Saturn and the whole complex without even trying. How much do you trust it? I knew you'd be right behind me or something. If you did, how come you're not facing this way? I'm an idiot, I guess. You've come a long way just to be an idiot. You must know exactly what the ship can do, right? Did you come to fight me on purpose? That's really brave and really cute. If you can touch me, I can touch you. So I'm not getting close. You came all this way not even hey. to not even fight? Not even to fight? Aw, that's not cute at all. But it's small. S Smart. Smart. Small. Aww. It's small. Duh. Your mom's birthday and I got her cake and some flowers. Oh, she'll love them. That's awesome, Katie Scoop. Happy birthday to your mom. That's exciting. Oh, Lord have mercy. I cannot tell you for sh It's okay. I, me all day, every day. The crazy eyes. She does have Coop crazy Pluto. eyes. Uh, all right. Hey, don't underestimate me. I'm scary. You think? Ooh, it's glowing a halo. Cute. Maybe I believe you. Cute things can also be scary. But I'm curious now. I was worried you were going to waste your chance smugging your new machine. But you're pretty clever. Y you want to talk without fighting? If you're good. Otherwise, I'll bite. Oh. So... What do you want to talk about? As Cradle's Grace's glittering psychic death machine, you definitely have more important things to do than go out of your way to bully me for no reason, right? Oh, that's right. That man and the fleet are escaping, aren't they? Hope you don't mind falling for this trap. Trap? You? Silly. I know you're more important than that. More than catching the rest of the Celestial Mechanics fleet? I knew this would be fun, and you knew it too. I'm absolutely delighted about you doing ju that just to be clear, so you don't have to read my mind to roast me about it. I can't read minds. You know that's not how it works. But I also don't need to, to know that. But I did want to know how the biggest overachiever of my juniors turned into such a bad girl. If you really remembered me, you'd remember I wasn't ever good. I do remember you. Even if you're not that good at being bad, do you know what you're doing? With that machine that's so dangerous we don't even want to find out what it does? I think you answered your own question about why I'm keeping it. Are oh. you gonna stop me then? That one girl's eyeshadow is on point. Yeah, it is. 
But you don't want to? Hey, stop. Er, hey, stop. Don't pry into me. If you're pitying me, I'll make you regret it. Not all of us come out perfect like you. Some of us get thrown out before they see any use at all. I won't pity you. I really would have turned, torn this machine apart, but now that I'm here, gifted a little mutant to gifted little mutant, I can't bear to. Because some of us just haven't been thrown out yet. Lab-grown girls like us should stick together. I might still make you regret it. Winning isn't my most important task. It's not yours, either. Are you sure about that? Um, which one game? This is made by the people that did We Know, we the, know devil, the Devil. Which was, like, about three girls that were trying to fight the devil in the middle of a forest. So. And, um, it's published by another company that does some other graphic. Pillow games. Talk! Yeah. You're not who I'm worried about. It's only your boss that I can't forgive. Oh, I love hearing that. Tell me more. I'm getting a crush already. Regretting it now? Don't worry. There's nothing you can make me regret. Oh. Ever since the day Mars began, Mars has been doomed. So much flirting. No, there will never be a planet Mars. That's a name reserved for places where human life, gravity, and culture reign. Where human life, gravity, and culture reign. This is just bitter Aries, but like the stringy, inedible weeds that grow when nothing else does, Cradle's Graces is dug in, and we can't get them out. The colonies are wrecked, the terraforming engines are broken, the gravity furnaces are out of control. There's no resources left on this planet, no strategic value. This planet doesn't even exist. It is an inert rock. There's no point in fighting. There's no need to fight. Ship selves can't keep you alive alone forever, and even if that was the case, we could leave tomorrow and claim victory. Most of the Memorial Foundation in SCS fleet did, already did. That's why there's barely any of us left and why we can't get them out. What, why don't I go home too? and leave all those idiots to just fucking die on a rock. Who do you think we're doing this for? External communication, sent August 31, 1978, by Memorial Foundation troops. I would just say, like... You mean, like, how do we talk to him again? I think they mean, how do I bring up that I don't remember your name? Oh! What's your name again? <laughs> to be smooth with that. You could just be honest and be like, hey, I think I remember your name, but I just want to make sure I don't fuck it up. So I'm going to ask you because I really would wa don't want to forget it again. That's what I would probably say, to be honest. <laughs> Aww. I mean, you do something like ask how they spell their name. You could ask. Ooh, but smooth. Hon honesty is good too. So yeah. Depends on the context. <laughs> Crest is yeah. on the same page there. Oh god. Why? What? How did? What? It went down. <laughs> that was weird. All right. Yeah, something like that. It's probably what I would do. That is what you would do. And then there's me that would be like, I don't remember your name. I'm the brutal honest one. That's fine. Hey, it's not like we're it idiots. We know we're doomed. This planet still doesn't fulfill the requirements for human life. And life is just the start anyway. Don't you know that gravity is something more important? You do understand celestial mechanics, right? Matter is made up of tiny particles, but enough of it exerts gravity that stitches the universe together. Culture is made of tiny humans, and enough of it can decide what's real tiny and what isn't. Humans. Diamond beans. It is really quite fucked up that this is how decisions about humans get made. Enough humans can decide something and then it'll be true, even about what's human and what's not. They don't ha even have to wait for the deadline. They've already decided that any human without their feet planted on the earth is in fact not a human. That's a pretty usual thing for humans to do. No differences of any kind need to exist. 
we'll just be aliens and then they'll send the real military after us and we'll die. But if we just hold the line here for our princess to get through and make it to the moon, she'll open up the gravity well and then we get to decide. Internal communication sent January 25th, 1981. People have names? By Cradles, Graces, or Regulars. We're all human, IRL. I only remember him because he has a Twitch account and we talked about our favorite streamers at the bar. Aw, that's awesome! Cute. That's adorable. I love that. Up. The next day. It's morning on Aries, but what's time in space? If we can get our capital ship launched and refueled, and the prototype retrofitted with the final equipment, we'll have everything in place. Keep out of the canyons of Mars, where Cradle's Graces and Memorial Foundation are bickering. Hold the city ruins against invading troops, and make sure no one tries to set the oxygen ocean on fire while we refuel. It's a pretty thankless job. But me, I can't wait to see what happens. This is the most exciting space has ever been. Before we got here, this was a dead rock. But the best we could have ever hoped for was Earth in a different place. Who needs that? Far in the distance, the moon's gravity well shines. If no one controls it before the deadline is up, Earth will take drastic steps to ensure that humanity is not divided. What they're afraid of is what they're afraid of happening, we will ensure that it happens. We'll finally have something alien in space. Private communication, January 26, 1981. It's very true to be fair. Day three. I wonder how many days there are. I would guess seven. A week. A um, week, a week, a week, a week, a week. OS rip corruption. Error. Mission parameters not detected. Mission results needed for gravitational slingshot permissions. Error. Navigation shortlist not found. Uh, manual inject mission results.txt. Mission parameters found. All results. Perfect and amazing. Wow. Thank you, Saturn. <laughs> Flight path generating. Fleet path. Cronus orbit. Refuel on planet Aries. Lagrange colony pass. Classified operation. Earth's moon. So that's the flight path? Sure. So they renamed Saturn to Cronus. They renamed Mars to Aries. Lagrange colony would be a, a space station in one of the Lagrange points of the Earth-Moon system. New standing orders coming in. Ares, guard celestial fleet, guard celestial mechanics fleet refueling on Ares oxygen ocean. Ares, stay out of trouble and do not engage. Oh, is this Ares, someone named Ares talking? I think so. I think so. Hmm. Stay out of trouble and do not engage Memorial Foundation troops patrolling in immediate vicinity. Accept orders? No. Error. Cannot proceed. So manual inject. Accepted. Normalizing gravitational slingshot effect. Prepare for immediate launch to Aries. All right. So, Celestial Mechanics, 12%. Memorial Foundation, 25%. Yep. Aw, good luck, Jesse. Thank you for stopping by. Going to lurk mode. I love... Yeah, I'm so glad you love the emote. So I'm lurk guessing... All you need. It's a good lurking game. There are four choices we can make that favor Memorial Foundation and eight that favor Celestial Mechanics. That would make sense, I guess. So there's probably four for Cradle's Graces too, if we're playing as... So that would mean... Eight missions? Eight, yes. Yeah. So four days. But four days on top of the already two days we were at. Yeah. Six, seven-ish, probably. Oh, right, because a day is a mission. It's really good. Playing Breath of the Wild at the moment. Hey. It is adorable AF, it's true. I still haven't gone back and played the, Breath of the Guardian Wild. DLC. Or not Guard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, we have a new email. Sweet. Subject, re- <laughs> Origin, Celestial Mechanics Main Fleet, Misfire Transmission, Author Junk Data. Oh my god, sorry for 
getting back to you so late, but I was in the middle of a meeting. My phone buzzed so much, the director asked me if I needed to take a call. I swear you do this on purpose. I don't think you really need feedback on your nudes that quickly, even though, yes, they are really, really important to me. And I can't stop thinking about them or getting any of my work done. And my presentation suffered greatly from my lack of focus. I expect you're prepared for a little payback. And after I sent you my schedule so that this wouldn't happen again, even. Hey, you wouldn't have asked me for anything. For my meet you wouldn't have asked me for my meeting time so that you could send those to me at the worst possible moment, would you? Yes, you would. I already know the answer to that. So why don't you tell me this? Why can I never get enough of you? So is this in the past from oh. Mercury to her? Oh, this is from Mercury? I think it's from Mercury. Because Mercury is the other celestial mechanics person. Oh, gotcha. I don't know. Then that would make sense. And she did say, I heard nudes. <laughs> uh, she did say that she was sending him, or he said that she was sending him nudes. This is why. So, no. God damn it, Saturn. Hmm. Be careful today. I'm never careful any day, so. I'm serious this time. Apatis is in the field today. I don't know where he's fighting, but you should be careful. Jeez, you worry too much. Obviously, because you give me so much to worry about. I mean, are you really worried? His ship self is actually not that scary. Not as scary as mine. As if that was a thing I was worried about. What then? Oh, you God, I'm not even thinking about letting our mutual ex touch me. Awkward. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I won't even fight him. I'll curve him the second his tide so much as trumble against my plating. Why won't you worry? Oh, why would you worry? I don't even slightly hate him less than you do. Okay, then. <laughs> there is no possible way you hate him more than I do. But that's not the issue. That's never the issue with him. Hating him hasn't made him any easier to deal with. We were kids, though. We're older and wiser now. LMAO. <laughs> At least you are, Mercury. Hardly. Or I wouldn't be telling you. You remember how he'd just casually linger his fingers a second too long on your shoulder? In front of everyone? Ugh, 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 it was so gross! It was so gross. Yeah, Mercury's a trans dude. Yes. And I loved the attention every time. It made me so smug. I loved it. It was gross. I hate him. Do you love yourself enough to not fall for it again? Yes. I definitely hate him enough not to fall for it again. Do you? No, obviously. I'm still in celestial mechanics. So how do you think I feel? You're soaring. You've got, the, you've got a stupid idiot who loves you, and you get to do research and never have to deal with him again. And with, his, with this ship self, we'll have the future. And no matter what, I'll make sure he won't. Damn. Huh. I'm going to need someone to hook up already. <laughs> Bangity bang. I wonder if these are change. Depending based on, on our alignment. I wouldn't think so. Maybe. Interesting that it's a mutual X. The X is Apatus. Yeah, Apatus is Their the boss. X. Yeah. Which I didn't see coming. I didn't either. <laughs> at all. I guess Apatus just wants to bang everyone. I guess so. I knew it! <laughs> all the trans friends. My trans girlfriend. So we have... Two, oh god. <laughs> Save me. Rude? Damn, shade, nah. Okay. <laughs> that was your plan. I knew it. Bitch. So we have two missions. Deep dive. The oxygen ocean serves as both fuel yard and terraforming engine for planet Ares, and it's the perfect hiding place for the migrating celestial mechanics fleet. But deep down, something is reaching up for them. And 400 millimeter kiss. Memorial Foundation deploys a Where certain. Where did you? Oh, can I continue? 
deploys a certain sniper to stop escape and resupply routes to the resting Celestial Mechanics fleet. All Saturn needs to do is stay out of trouble, but what's the chance of that? So, so this is Pluto, yeah. this is Luna Terra. Let's just always end on Luna Terra. Okay. So let's do this one and tell her no. Saturn, what are you doing? Disabling all comms and driving supports and- Diving. Diving supports and- Oh, you're still here? I thought I cut this channel too. Well, I should go ahead and shut it. Don't you dare cut me off. You can listen if you promise not to whine or stop me. I will do no such thing so and you cannot make a deal with me. I'm simply stating fact, not making an argument. Ugh, just why, Saturn? Why are you such an incorrigible, petulant nightmare? After you were probationally forgiven for doing a very good job not getting Stringer Pearls ruined or captured, and Command even decided to give you the job of sparking the gravity engine that will take our fleet back to the native sphere. I would think you wouldn't be so into pressing your luck recklessly. But everyone except for you is so annoying! They're annoying because whatever is causing the tidal interference from the bottom of the oxygen ocean is almost certainly that Cradle's Grace's weapon, and they have no reason to believe you're going to be loyal. Every single second of the day you are horrid and undisciplined, and your brief periods of obedience only seem to exist to throw everyone off later. I mean... If you want me to cover for you, you have to play along a little. Why are you like this? Years of encouragement and grooming followed by abandonment and neglect. You know that. Same as you. And same for that pilot you're after, too? Is that why? In a different way, but I think so. Enemy or not, I want to talk. I think I'm getting somewhere. And I'm not going to get to talk if you all are interfering. What if she doesn't want to just talk? Then you'll really appreciate me cutting the cables before she pulls all of you down here there with me. Why is it so important anyway? You'll really jeopardize the whole operation for that. Bye, Wolf Prince. Bye, Wolf Prince. Take care. Have a wonderful night. I was going to lean on the mic, but it's over here. Doesn't work as well. Bye. Take care. Uh, what? You don't think I have my own cunning master plan? It's way better than his. Supposedly, nothing can stop the Crumacula. Is it better to find out if that's true sooner than later? Fight her or talk. Which is it? How are they any different? Anyways, don't worry when the connection accidentally breaks. I'll be fine, promise, and you will be too. <sighs> Share a secret moment deep down or get in a tug of war above the waves. Outcome favors Cradle's Graces. So you want to do this one, right? Yes. The balance. I feel like we skipped something. What would we have skipped? Her running into Pluto? Chatting a little? I don't know. No, I don't think so. The balance shifts because Pluto tugs and Saturn yields. The oxygen ocean is a peaceful place because everything about it destroys everything else. You can enjoy complete privacy under the curtain of the oxygen steam. Thank you for the clip. Drink all the fuel and air you want and no vessel can survive the temperature and pressure conditions below. You can float as long as you want, or until your hull turns brittle and breaks, or your, organ or your organic components oxidize and explode. Celestial Mechanics has covered their wayward pilot's machine in temporary armor layers to steal, seal out the unknown interference of gravity and seeping oxygen. The additional temporary armor layers might not be necessary, but they also might be. The Celestial Mechanics fleet tenders lower the string of pearls in slowly, just to make absolutely sure. It feels wonderfully cold, like a spare blanket taken from the attic in winter. Pluto is there, deep, deep down. And when Saturn slips in, she feels the ripples, as if they were in the opposite ends of the same perfectly still, still pool. The feeling is wonderful. Saturn's surprised that's true. Oh. Alright. 
I bet she does, yeah. How do you know that? Wait, who is you? How do I know what? Saturn? Who are you talking to? We're asking for confirmation to lower you. Yeah, I've been ready. I'm sorry, I got distracted. You must be if you're apologizing. There's someone down there. This is such a good song. She's speaking to me. No, she's trying to eat me alive. Or maybe it's really hard to tell the difference. Awesome. It's familiar. I'm so stoked. Take me down. The ocean boils wherever she touches it, even with the external equipment. There's no way to rely on sight, and the paramagnetic influence is too erratic for sensors to process. <laughs> That's she what can I was only like. feel her way for both of them. The cable to your left is extremely important. It's the only way we have of communicating and monitoring your situation. Uh huh. So you'll need to be extremely careful with it. Mm hmm. Are you listening? Yes, but not to you. Shh. She, there's definitely someone here. Lower me. It's reaching out. Saturn feels funny. Something's not quite right. Like, something's watching her. It's like someone's watching me. But it's also not like someone's watching me. <laughs> it's like God damn something's it. watching her. But something isn't watching her. It's touching me. Something is touching Saturn. Its hands see her. And they also speak. It's saying something. The ocean ripples with boredom. It's really boring down here. But what else is Pluto going to do? Some girls get stuck with the worst Aww. jobs. Get some sleep, her llamas. Thank you for sticking around. Take care of yourself. Oh, oh my god, my motto in life. All the tentacles. Love it. But I've got to do it. With nothing else to do but send insinuations through the narration. So are you coming or what? I've got her again. Title spike detected. Mass gravity alert. Lower me further. Saturn, we're pulling you out. Oh, not just yet. Hi, Saturn. Hi, Mercury. Sorry, I'm borrowing her for a little bit. Saturn's cockpit floods with alarm lights of an imminent high-intensity gravity event, but it's too late. A string of pearls discharges its electromagnetic field and delicately breaks off the winch. Saturn, what are you... The string of pearls cleanly slices off the left oh, communication yeah. wire and the pulley system. The silence of the oxygen ocean reminds her of a sensory deprivation tank. What a gird girl. The hey, don't praise me like that. I wanted to speak to you again. Damn it, I cut both wires. Even ship to ship comms are down. Saturn? Can you hear me? Would you hear me if I spoke with this ship? It's been such a long time since anyone could hear it. Pluto's tidal reactor pulses slowly. The thrum feels like it's coming from everywhere. Oh, I get it. You want to talk with gravity? Well, I'm not some miracle child, even though they tried very hard to make me as good as you. Saturn's reactor, an anxious little ball, is getting just so, so fed up with this. It's frustrating to not be understood. Would you know what that's like? You don't know how much I know. But I believe in you. If Saturn moves too much, she might forget what direction up is. The sensory deprivation of the ocean takes everything away. But she has to remember that's not true. I don't believe you, but I'm trying. Oh, she's trying? Of course I'm trying. Come on, where am I? Uh, I hate people playing hard to get. I believe in you, but you gotta work for it. I can't do it, sorry, but I'm cheating. The string of pearls electrotoxin shoots through the ocean. Like a bolt of lightning, it reaches out because it's attracted to you. It seeks the path of least resistance, looking for something that wants to respond. What it really does is run along the boundaries, theoretical and real. 
There's a place where the boundary between one thing and another is weakest, and it runs along the boundary until it finds it, and then it connects the two. Hmm, why is she doing that? Oh, it's what you're used to. Good at seeing weak spots. I've got a lot. Can you find them? You can do it if you try. Maybe you need a little push. It's like there's nothing, not a single crack. Don't say you're not perfect. Don't make me do all the work. Huh? The pressure is overwhelming, but it's overwhelming for Pluto, too. The Kren Macula is like a little star, gushing matter and condensing it into an engine of light over and over. It was modeled after a theory of the Big Bang, after all, made in secret on the planet Hades, on the boundary between what is human and what is not. It's a fragile boundary. You can touch it, but be careful. <laughs> this takes me back. Which is not fucking fair! Are you doing that on purpose? Always taking me to unpleasant pasts? Is it taking you back? Sorry. But we can't help it. It's the first thing beneath our surfaces. It's hard for me, too. It takes Saturn back to her first implant series, when they took the most special children they could find and tried to cheat them into being even more special. Bypass all the work and care that had gone into the third generation pilots and kick them directly into humanity's next stage. Cheating, you should know, felt good. It felt wrong in a good way. It felt good in a way that felt obscene. It felt bad, like she was getting more than she deserved. They chose her, but she felt like she played a trick on them, like she lied and got candy for it. They knew there was nothing special about her, and then gave her the most special thing. If they knew how special it was, and how much she didn't earn it, they would have given it to someone else. But they didn't. Even when they threw her away, she never forgot how that felt. Why is it always like this? Oh, baby. It takes Pluto back to when she was learning how to be a person. In space, they decided they would start over without assumptions. Humanity would be protected by the most human children they could make. No matter how badly she did, no matter how much she wasn't up to how perfect they wanted, they never gave up on her. That was the worst part. She wished so much they would give up. It was so hard. She just wanted to be the mess she really was and they wouldn't let her. She knew with her whole heart what she was supposed to be. She had it memorized, and she could never make it leave her... <laughs> you an intense moment with Pluto here. Thank you, Irene and then you're Kavik. going Got it memorized. Got it memorized. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 biddies. The 100 pride biddies. Thank you so, so much, guys. Throw all the love in chat. And take care. Thank you so much for sticking around. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. He's done and she is mad as hell. That didn't last long. For what? Hi, Sundan. Kinky. Lose points with Pluto. I'm off now. Aw, Bella Coco. It might be different if we play Pluto, but I don't know. I'm assuming it would be very different. Yeah. And also, we picked the option that was. Yeah, it was not, mechanics, not. Yeah, it was not with her. Cradle's Graces. Right. So, this is like not bad option, but not the positive option with Pluto. Right. We're, we're resisting Pluto more than we're. For now having fun with Did her. the bit alert sound I didn't hear anything? I heard it? Okay. I heard that's how I knew it happened. I don't know if it did for anyone else. Oh, scroll further up. Oh. Wait. Oh, for Zuko? For what? Wait, wait. Oh, this. Oh, two floats above me start. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> I am so sorry, Sandman. <laughs> I am so sorry for you. Good luck. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't last long, so yay. <laughs> Where was I? I was getting really into that. Got it memorized. I'm sorry. <laughs> I <laughs> ruined it. <laughs> um, she had it memorized, and she could never make it leave her body, become the things she did and the person she was. They let her be whatever she wanted, and she wasn't strong and smart and pretty enough to be it. Both of them remember reaching through the wall to the one on the other side, wishing so hard to hold hands it feels like you really are. Your two pebbles dropped in the pond, but your ripples touching are enough. No one knows, and even the two of you almost don't. Never say it out loud. Never think it too loud. 
It sounds so sad when you put it like that. Oh. And hi, Indie Man. Hello, hello. Why? Don't show me things that stop making me jealous. Oh, you got me. You're touching me. I can hear you through the contact link. Haha, <laughs> you got me that good. And that's why what you have to say? You're the one who got me. You did it. You found me. You're clever. It's amazing. You don't need to flatter me. I won't feel better. I'm not. You better. I promise. Why am I so scared and you're so not? That's just me. Sorry I'm like this. Well, you can flatter me a little. You're a little needy, huh? Didn't you say I just had you? <laughs> you do. You can do whatever you want now. Why did you do this? Hi, Snuffles. Hi, Snuffles! This is really good. It's it's uh girls in mechs and we're deciding who they're fighting and who they're banging. But yeah, girls in space and mechs. Visual level. Wee <laughs> wee wee wee. Oh, why did you do this? I said that already. Sorry. You came after me, so it's only fair I came after you. Don't say it's only fair. Say I'm amazing and important and you came after me specifically. You're totally not needy, huh? <laughs> Give me a better answer. I want to know why it's me. I don't have one. There are so few of us left. I've got to cling to everyone. But I love that you're scared and you believe anyway. I think you're one of the only people who can make something change. And there's no time left. Is that a proposal? To join your side? Yeah. What if I refuse? Then give a good reason for me to join you. <laughs> hey, you're even more impulsive than me. You can start to see why I fight, can't you? The way I'm starting to see why you do. Show me something important, and I'll be yours too. But you're definitely not going to go quietly, are you? Nope. If I let you go, will you promise not to crush yourself and me and literally everything? This Th time, you mean? <laughs> I yeah. Ooh, is she blushing? I think I can do that. Say hi to Mercury for me. I'll see you again soon, baby. I hate saying baby. I'm just mm. gonna say. Baby. That's my least favorite endearment. Have I said baby to you? I'm sorry if I have. I don't care. I hate saying it. Oh, okay. It always sounds awkward. Gotcha. Baby. Baby. I, I'm, it's better to type. It's harder for me to say out loud. Yeah. Pluto is super into Saturn. Yes. Yeah, I noticed. Honestly, that didn't feel like the option Hi, that Myra! was, like, yeah, not against. Pluto. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. We're still hella flirting. Yeah, it was. Now we're 25-25. But, oh, hello, welcome. But yes, they are in mechs that are, like, they can feel stuff. and yeah, Like, it's, like, connected to them. Typical. That's what they're in. Their cockpits. Yeah. This is our UI. Annual Academy student rating. Uh, Colony Server Force Extraction. Author of Memorial Foundation Space Academy Archives. Aw, Aaron. Aaron Lazuli, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much. Hi, Breezy Coin. Can we get a shout out for Aaron? Hello and welcome. What were you guys playing? Were you having fun? Aw, I'll take all the loves. Me and River are playing a game called Heaven. Will be mine. Will be mine, thank you. And it is really cool. It is about girls in mech suits who you either get to choose if they're going to fight each other or bang each other. Seems like That's lots how I'm of putting banging. it. We're trying to make it lots of banging. I mean, I don't see a fighting option yet. That's true. Like none of these have really been. That's true. Hi, Millie. Hello. So we'll see. <laughs> but, yes. Um, Hello, welcome. Quite the love triangle, basically. It's is a what's much happening. bigger game than We Know the Devil. Yeah. Holy oh, yeah. God. Like, much bigger, much more in depth. Much more polished. Yeah. Like, not that that's necessarily a good thing, but like. It doesn't make it better. It's just, it. yeah, you can tell the effort and energy they put into it, which obviously they did for We Know the Devil, but I think they maybe had a shorter time frame or it's just exactly well, it was, how much I think they, they needed. Were newer to it. That too. 
But um, I think it was exactly what that game needed yeah, to be. Yeah, for sure. This game, they made feel exactly how it needs to feel. Just like with We Know the Devil. Because if you had gone any deeper, it wouldn't have felt like yeah. in the woods, like horror. Whereas this is more sci-fi mech mm. anime. <laughs> I like this game already. Mech suits fighting. Well, we they might not be fighting for There's us. <laughs> all different kinds of fighting. There's a hand for every type of fighting. <laughs> If you guys saw We Know the Devil, you understood um, that reference. God damn it! So annual academy student one. rating. I won't rate them. They're still learning. Given this, Halamid is underperforming based <laughs> on the expectations that you set out for her. I told you the projections were completely divorced from reality repeatedly for this very reason. The authority she may have wielded on Earth means nothing up here. I should add, because I know you will forget it as early as is convenient, that she is performing very highly compared to her peer group in the specific areas that you seem to consider so highly. Yes, even compared to your generation one aces, she has the potential to surpass them. So stop asking if she has surpassed the top one yet. I'd prefer to keep those two as separate as possible for interpersonal reasons. Halamid is too competitive and easily impressed to not make me worry about placing her in close contact with the number one ace. Your attempts to put those two in the same room has not gone unnoticed by me. Do you just love drama, ap Apatus, or is there something else you believe is more important than the health of our pilots? Damn. Also, thank you so much, Aaron, for the compliment. Had a great time. I wanted to them to meet one of the kindest streamers out there. Thank Aww. you so much. You cinnamon roll, you. Aww. I'm glad you had a good time. Always welcome. Thank you so much. Rude. How dare. How dare. Um, so Halloween. Yes. Was the princess of the Memorial Foundation Native Sphere Existential Safety. Later. Okay. So the Ace One is Luna, right? I would assume it's Luna Terra. Gen 1 ace. Then who's the first one that they're trying to put into the room with her? Halamid. Saturn? Oh, okay. We don't yeah. know who Alamid is then. We have not met her yet, no. Okay. But we have an email from her in the past. Okay. This is also a complicated narrative, I think. It's going to take a lot to piece together. Oh, like, yeah. It's like, I have stuff. a feeling a lot's going to go over my head. Yeah. And you'll probably, knowing you, you'll read up before we continue <sighs> another playthrough and you'll, like, maybe, maybe know not. how to explain stuff. I don't stuff. know if I want to spoil myself. Good. Where For were they once, talking about Nick? guys, that's amazing. You always read spoilers. Um, so Nix's resignation. This is from the Memorial Foundation Evidence Locker, and it's authored by the Special Counsel for the Prosecution of Dr. Nix. So this is his resignation message. In these moments, nothing is more painful than being patronized, but you couldn't even spare me that. I can't understand why you thought me to be that naive, though. I really did know. They thought a world where the children were together and free and could write their own futures sounded wonderful. We didn't even get close for them to understand that that's not what they wanted. We didn't even get close for them to understand that's not what they wanted. I knew it from the start. I regret only that I didn't get further before they noticed. You were asking for my resignation, but there's nowhere else for me to go. And there's nowhere else for those children to go either. I won't let you have them, and I won't let you crush them back to their earthly shapes. What you are asking instead is for me to declare war. So I will do so, and we will see if Earth's tides are truly enough, truly powerful enough to crush the new humanity you rejected. <clears throat> Damn. So Nix was in charge of the academy, I guess, for the pilots? Pilot academy? Seems like. All right. Comms. The captain told me to thank you for the data stream. You're very welcome. Do you have new results for me? Yes, I'll encrypt them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. I guess there's no point in asking what you want them for. How afraid should I be? I'm just trying to fulfill our mission, Mercury. You know that. I'm going to tell him you're as inscrutable and petulant as ever. Aw, please, I don't want your hubby to hate me. Why do you always call 
Ganymede. Yeah. Ganymede, the captain, anyway, lol. Because some of us have a sense of discretion. Aw, oh, Captain's pet is so well behaved. You're one to talk, Saturn. You're going to end up at the pound one of these days if you go through any more superior officers. No, it's cute. You both I tidily, tidily locked that quick. Uh, tied the knot, I'm guessing. Uh -huh. You're making all the lesbians jealous. Definitely tied the knot. <laughs> then act like it, Saturn. And I will not apologize for locking it down. I've had my fill of being a pet. Damn. I don't really want to be a pet either. Maybe you are learning to love yourself. What I'd like is to be a toy. That's even worse. No, it's better. Plastic and metal can be molded into any kind of shape. You can smooth over and change whatever you want. Well, you only have to accept the interference you're designed for. A toy never gets to do anything. It just sits there looking pretty. Mercury, what do you think I want? Don't you love how our ship selves evoke so much? Ooh. Just by being plastic in, this, in the silhouette of a human, these beam weapons are my fingertips. This chassis is my tits! Chassis. Same thing. <laughs> my tits! But they're also beam weapons and impenetrable. An impenetrable cha chassis, you said? Chassis. Chass chassis. They can shred the plastic all they want, but they can't touch me. Plastic can't get hurt. But you still can be. Don't forget. People fawn over objects they worship them. I want to be the product they obsess over. I thought you were tired of getting thrown away. I am not for individual retail sale. Look, don't touch. One of a kind, not sold in stores. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Max. Aw, oh, take care, Katie Scoop. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Let's do the kiss. No, go ahead. Take your time. Oh, I will. We're not dying yet or anything. You know, fighting officially on Ares is a lot less fun than I was promised it would be. It's real work, Saturn. I thought that's what all of that getting back on our good side was about. All about. They shouldn't have done such a good job of hiding in the oxygen ocean, then. You could maybe stage an attack from the Olympus ruins, but not even Cradle's Graces is precious enough to defend them. Memorial Foundation is thorough enough to watch over it. Of course, only they would be that annoying. There's recent activity there, and they want an investigation. They're just being paranoid. That's a stupid plan, and they're only sending someone there to waste their time chancing we're dumb. Or baiting us. Would they really send their ace if that was the case? Wait, that old Memorial Foundation warhorse you mean? Why didn't you tell me the most important part first? Coordinates now, please! Saturn, I really hope you are not actually... Yeah, I'm feeling like, you know, Command is right, actually. That area really needs some really thorough investigation, just to be sure. Yes, they're named after uh, celestial objects in our solar system. Yeah. Celestial objects. Well, they're not just planets, so... Oh, some of them, yeah. What's with the sudden enthusiasm? It's really not... No, wait, it's exactly like you. When you said you fought off the Merocrisium pilot, what were you actually doing? I don't know what you're talking about, Mercury. I was so dutiful and brought back this... Th brought, brought this... Brought this back in one piece, so that means I won, so don't worry about it. I saw Tali, sorry. Why are you like this? Bangity bang! Saturn gets no scoped. Damn. <laughs> we gonna get killed? I'm okay with this. If we get to bang. Saturn gets no scoped by Lunaterra. Lunaterra gets a point blank encounter. See? I have no idea. I was off screen there. So this. I wonder if we have it backwards. Like if picking the the other person's outcome. I don't know. 
I mean, I would think that, but it really went like, well with Luna. That's what I mean. One. And we picked ours. No, we did it for Luna. For oh, Luna, we for picked Luna, hers. Yeah. All right. And so it went I guess really we well, get no so scoped. <laughs> we're just like, Whatever. take me. It's basically right. what's happening. So where's the sun? Right. I don't think the sun exists. Fucked up, guys. The balance shifts because Lunaterra could hold still and Saturn couldn't. Correct for gravity, it's unsettlingly weak. Correct for the cold blue starry daylight of the fragile Aries atmosphere. So we're on a partially terraformed Mars now. We're fighting in like cities, ruins of cities. Sniping from the remains of the capital spire is like being just an eye and a trigger finger. A thrilling place for Lunaterra to fight. Correct for wind, it's skittish and powerless. Correct for gravity, there's still too much of it. Correct for the nuisances of this infant planet that will never be. Skirting along the abandoned roads of the city that never was is like being an exposed nerve, a thrilling place for Saturn to fight. <clears throat> I see you. Hot. Lunaterra squeezes the trigger for the seventeenth time. The cover couldn't protect String of Pearls from Lunaterra's eyes, and it sure can't protect her from her trigger finger. Engage reactor, initiate inertial control. The slug whips white right by Saturn, and that's seven times dodged. The four shrinking holes in her chassis, marching closer to the String of Pearls' heart, mark what happens when she doesn't. Getting shot still sucks. Saturn isn't used to it. Rude. Ha 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 ha! That one was so close. That was really, really, really close. Tell me I'm getting better, right? No way, it's just luck. You've gone from getting hit all of the time to getting hit half of the time. That's better, but what you want is to be hit none of the time. Don't tell me what I want. Maybe I love being shot. You wouldn't be the first. Wow, weird. You must fight some really problematic people. Some pilots find interesting ways to pass the time. I kind of get the appeal. What else is there to do? If you didn't love getting shot so much, you wouldn't run around space shooting each other. If that's true, why did you come here to fight? If that's true, why did you come here? There's nothing left to fight over on Ares for anyone. Give me one thing to do more fun than look demure and get shot at. Someone has to do the shooting. Hmm, that tells me what position you favor, but that doesn't answer my question. Damn! I'm taking evasive maneuvers. If I dodge the next one, answer my question. I won't answer the first one, but I'll answer a different one. If you dodge. Saturn gets so quiet, she gets so still, yet her heart is thumping, her reactor is thrumming with resonance. It's obvious Lunaterra is sniping her from the tower, the city's last and tallest building. But now, suddenly, she isn't so sure. See, she isn't sure if she knows where Lunaterra is, or if she knows anything about her at all. What did her face look like again? Rude. Hit. It's not that Saturn wasn't on the ready. She's baiting. She knows exactly what she's doing. Lunaterra just guessed for the one half second where Saturn wasn't ready, and slipped her solid light bullet in that space. The shot lands right in her throat. For a moment, Saturn's just, I'm dead. <laughs> but she's not. Then she hurts so bad, she wants to die. But she's just mistaking the very different things the string of pearls fills instead of that. Ah! It's not really pain, but it's a feeling so overwhelming it shuts Saturn down like pain would. It's fascinating, full of information. Ah, Luna Terra, you're not doing a very good job of convincing me not to try that and to try and get shot. To not try and get shot. That. I've heard that before, too. You sure are having fun. 
What makes you think that? Want to know how I know? When correcting for gravity, the impression you leave in space feels a little for a second like. Well, someone might say it's like an eye roll, but I think it's kind of like a giggle, too. <laughs> Maybe that counts as a hit. Hehe. <laughs> You don't win cat and mouse games by batting every time a head pokes out. Except somehow you do. You're good at making people not follow their own better instincts. You shouldn't be getting you shouldn't be getting me to teach you to fight fair. You do much better like this. Aw, thank you. I don't fight fair because I have absolutely no idea how to fight. But this is why I hate you, Lunatera. You just don't get it. I want to beat you at something you're good at. You're really tough. Not your sniping, which can't stop me at all, but how you're totally impenetrable. You're doing something tricky. What are you doing? It's still my question. My hit. That's the rules. Why are you here? Firstly, because I refuse to ever be bored, just like you. Secondly, wiping that smug expression off your face is my deepest desire, so teach me how to weave through your fire and sink my claws in you. What's the third reason? Not telling! I already gave you one for free. Nice dodge. My question then! Dodge a real one first. Luna Terra fires, <laughs> and Saturn leaps forward directly into it. God the bullet it, misses, her tail sparks, and she thrusts through the atmosphere. How's that? Good work. But you have to keep it up. Luna Terra lands a bullet straight through her legs, and Saturn crumples. But the moment her limbs heal, Saturn leaps again. She's ready for the next bullet, but not the one behind it. But that one's a clean shot, right through her, no stopping power at all, and she leaps through again and is gone in the rubble before Lunaterra can land another shot. Hmm, is that more dodges or more hits? Counterpoint, here's an opinion on getting shot so far. Here's my opinion. It fills my brain with overwhelming information and barely stops me from doing anything at all because I'm in control of an impossible space war machine. So can you actually say you've really hit me? Flawed argument. Really disappointing, and I was expecting a lot better. Am I losing? Can I ever lose, no matter how much you shoot me? I don't think so. I don't actually think so. This machine is never going to lose. You can pin me down. You might be so much better than me I couldn't beat you in a million years, but I will keep trying and beat you with dumb luck. <laughs> Maybe that is true. You never hit me. Why are you here? Did you know there's a theory that ship selves can't actually be destroyed? You can break as much of them as you want, but the gravity engine will always pull it back into shape. As long as you're sufficiently tenacious, you can survive anything and try again until you get it right. So you do get what this machine is for. My least favorite person in the world came up with that theory. And this is the ship's self to test it, so naturally I know all about it. But it's true that no one has died. That's why they get to say that there's still no war in space. Dodging my question again? But in practice, wrecking a ship's self until both the pilot and the ship give up is indistinguishable. Because you can become so broken, continuing is impossible. Even if they can't kill you, you can be changed. You think you can do that to me? Or is that what you want to have happen to you? I have, to people who have much more fun with this than you do. Ha! This don't call it war is nothing but play fighting. All it takes is someone to not playing along to ruin it all. A solid light slug passes so close to Saturn's head the heat chars her face black. But it's not a hit. She incremented to the left a tiny Point amount before impact. A tiny amount. Five one hundredths of a second. Oh, you are getting better. It's definitely my question now. I'm still answering. That theory has not been disproven. It's more than likely true. But this is something you should know first. Your body can't be killed or destroyed, but it can be changed. When you're hit, truly hit, you're bent into a different kind of shape, and through that you can change. I think you should ask yourself if you're ready for that before you want to play with me for real. Speaking from experience, about that always bleeding wound on your ship self? It's 
not always a bad thing to change. Last one. If you can't dodge this, I don't think you're ready. Once again, Saturn feels Lunaterra slipping away. She's not here. She's not anywhere. She never was. Once again, it's my hit. Electricity explodes from the target point and connects back to the origin. It starts from where Lunaterra is, and when it connects back to Saturn, fast as light, the course correction defines the pathway retroactively. Wow. <laughs> I'm an idiot. This is great. You're not supposed to be ecstatic about someone getting the best of you. That's my move. Sorry, sorry. But I was condescending before. Next time we fight, it'll be for real. What if I don't want to fight? Then that'll be real too. Well, <laughs> it is intense. Um, I don't remember. I think her, her mech is like, so like Pluto's mech is gravity. Saturn's mech is something, luck, or maybe like. I wouldn't be surprised if it's luck. And I don't remember what Lunaterra's is. It might be like phasing. I think they all have like a trait. Don't quote me on that though. It might just be. What you've uh, noticed. It might just be Pluto's is so connected to gravity. Hi, Sapphire. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I wanted to read that. Well. I fucked up. Uh, I think I'm going to replay this so I can go back and read that. Replay this chapter. Oh. That's so much clicking. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, because that's a lot of plot. No, to be more fair, thank you for the 200 pride biddies. I'm going out. Thanks for being awesome, Cat and River. Thank you so much thank for you. sticking around. Have a wonderful night. Take care. Oh, it's, it's right, I threw all the love in chat. I can't escape. OS core reformatting 67% complete. Awaiting flight path. Input. Manual inject extract CM flight path. Hey. Coordinates received. Flight path passes through former pilot training school, LaGrange Colony. Receiving new mission assignments. Error. Block from ship self side. Manual inject scan virus. Manual inject extract. Three viruses detected and deleted. You have new mission assignments. Colony. Reclaim title reactor from Colony Core before Memorial Foundation. Colony. Prevent theft of entire colony by Cradle's Graces. Accept orders? Oh, mayo. Accepted. Normalizing gravitational slingshot effect. Prepare for immediate launch to Lagrange Colony. All right. So uh, can you okay. replay? Yeah, I can. Okay. Or would it be the first thing, or the thing at the bottom? Oh, well, no. That's frustrating. And you click through the other two instead of just reading yeah, them. Yeah, because I thought it. I would be. Ah, oh, that's just the dialogue log. Well. I got Demon Rose. Hello, hello. This is why. This is why. So it was talking about we set up a space colony at Lagr one of the Lagrange points, and then we blew it up in the war. Well, that's the formal pilot training school. Oh well. This is why. This is why. I missed a lot of crucial backstory there. We can always reread down another playthrough too, though. Yeah. Because I'm shooting. I'm assuming those all, all stay the same. Bad assumption, maybe? I'm sorry. It's okay. But yeah, I was saying we set up a colony at the Lagrange Point, and then... Well. It got destroyed. The Lagrange Points are points between the orbits of Earth and the Moon where they're special. I think it's like gravity is equal between the two. Gotcha. Also... What'd you miss? Uh, we are girls in mech suits, uh, either fighting each other or uh, flirting like hell, basically. basically. That's about it. We're playing Saturn. There are three yes. girls you can choose between playing, um, and we are playing Saturn, interacting with the other two. Yes. So uh, we should look at ma mail and alerts. Yeah. Nick's resignation two, <laughs> authored by MF Celestial Mechanics Research Lead, Apatus. Nix, you fundamentally misunderstood the purpose of pursuing the dream of space. 
I never sought to correct you. After all, all of the great things you have accomplished are the result of that misunderstanding. <laughs> you believed that your dream, so universally loved, was loved because we wanted it to come true. This was not the case, of course, even though I think the Memorial Foundation truly believed that they wanted the same as you. But as the tides of Earth turn, they realized in their own hearts that they are not the forefront of humanity's change, but slaves to its whim. Whims. To protect human culture means to always be at its beck and call, no matter what it becomes. And their dream is one of overwhelming power that will unlock the last mysteries and cement our authority forever. What your children achieved with freedom from gravity, we will have the power to determine on our own. I hope you can understand the depths of my gratitude to you for exploring these ideas that they might one day belong to us. Fight for love. Aptus. That's what we're trying to do. Well, for one of them. I think you. we're trying to choose one over the other. Because we're assuming you can't be with both. But, I mean, maybe that was a wrong assumption. Uh, you could in the other one. Yeah, but that wasn't until you did all of them. Yeah. Um, this is Mercury's Records. Written by Europa. Of all the Generation 3 pilots, Mercury is far and away the b one best suited to actually be a pilot. To a degree, I'd be terrified of giving that position to any other one of Apatus' nightmare brats. Rude. So there's absolutely no chance he'll be assigned, of course. He really is trying to maximize. What I want to impress, however, is that Mercury is still someone Apatus personally chose for the pilot role when he served himself during the Cold War, alongside the current second-tier candidate, Saturn. Mercury used to be a lot different, which is obvious. A lot of our pilots used to be a lot different, for reasons only space can explain. Hi. Um, I think reducing it to Mercury's personal mm -hmm. stake is as complete a reading as it is as incomplete a reading as it would be for some of the other any of the other pilots in Celestial Mechanics. Some of them don't. Some of them even know exactly what they're doing. Mercury, most of all. I don't think he has petulant grudges against humanity. He's just very critical. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Don't make it sound like I hate following command any less than you. Don't worry. I would never doubt that. Death. Hey, Mercury. Why are you still with Celestial Mechanics? Why are you? Why are you? If you still are, that is. You're the one who can choose. Mercury. Oh, don't. If you hadn't hijacked String of Pearls, you'd be here like me, waiting. To see if it's true that we can be whatever comes after being human. I don't want that for you. I certainly don't trust or believe in Celestial Mechanics or Apatus, but wasn't that the worst part? Even after he decided we weren't good enough to be the chosen pilots, neither of us left. He knew we wouldn't, because we already wanted it too much. Do you still want that more than anything else? I don't know. I know I, what I don't want, and it's to have nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for what? Coming to space? Going to the Academy? Never having a chance to fight in the Cold War, never having a say either way, falling stupidly for the worst man alive. I'm counting on you, Saturn, to give me something better than just the same Earth we left behind. You never have to worry about that. I have only the highest ambitions for us. Those girls you're flirting with better have a decent future for us, is all I'm saying. That's... Sure, fine, okay. Only if it's a really good one. If nothing else. I'll make sure that he doesn't get the future he wanted. Ha! Any future but the future he wants is good. Give me and Ganymede a good place, there, wherever, and whenever it is. I. I mean, so, maybe we are accidentally romancing Pat or, or Pluto, Pluto instead, but oh well, like, know. we'll find we'll out. Find so the missions are becoming stars. As long as we remain consistent. The Lagrange <laughs> colony is an uninhabitable husk, but Cradle's Grace still clings to it, quite literally. Pluto's dream might collapse under its own weight, or crush Saturn under it. So we're gonna do Pluto YOLO! First. The whole colony? It's so refreshing to see you surprised for once, Saturn. I'm soaking it in. Haha, <laughs> Mercury, but seriously, he wants me to stop Cradle's Graces from taking the entire colony out of the Lagrange Point? Why? Why would they do that? Why would we care enough to stop them from trying? The colony should just rot. It's over. There's nothing left there. 
Cradle's Graces wants those memories to live again. We need to discard Earth completely and start something new. It's an anchor pulling us back home. The success of opening the gravity well on the moon will depend completely on how much is holding us down. Even weak gravity like that. That's more than just dropping her, then. Stopping her. Eh. You want me to destroy the colony? That's the mission, yes. Not that I'm not the greatest, but isn't that basically impossible for me? It's huge. There are smaller moons. Do your best, then. The less memories, the better. I thought you didn't have any problems. That the colony should just rot. Ha, that's a funny joke. We both went through the same shit. Don't ask me that. Every happy memory that is made retroactively disgusting by the sort of person Apatis turned out to be. I hate him so much. I will never get over how much. Saturn? Yes, Mercury? Why are you still pretending to be with Celestial Mechanics? Why are you doing this is the real question, Mercury. You know him like I do, so why are you still here? I apparently have enough power to destroy a colony, and I can ditch him whenever I want. Leave Celestial Mechanics. Take G Ganymede. 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 I'll protect you. I'll make sure there's a good future in the end. Like a dark sailor moon. A little bit. A little bit. You absolutely will not be fine if I leave. Of course I don't trust him at all, but he wants what I want. It's what you want, too. I can't trust him on anything else, but I can trust him on that. Even if he's just doing this for his own gain, with some other agenda in mind, he's truly going to give us this. Ugh, disgusting. That's what I fell for, so stop reminding me. That's why I trust you too, of course, even though I shouldn't. I know you won't accept anything less than what you want. If you can even get half of that, it'll be more than enough for me. For the future. For each other. Romantic. God, like, I feel like if I did answer this honestly based on how I wanted to, though, not, like, keeping in mind pushing more towards one person right. than the other, I would be, like, fuck my place and helping both of them. Right. But we really don't know what either of them want yet. Yeah. Like, we have no idea. We know a little bit about Pluto. We know, like, nothing about Luna Terra. Right. I mean, we know That's how that. she wants I it. Know. That's what <laughs> Pluto hesitates. Because she's not ready for this kind of fight, and Saturn is. The colony shines like a star until you write on it. Then it looms, impossibly large. A translucent sphere, a drop of water suspended in space. Glistening beneath the drop of water, past the clouds that form in its crumbling artificial atmosphere, to the strange haze that seeps from beneath the crumbling streets, it's possible to make out the fading light of the colony's collapsing systems massive jewel, like a clean slice taken out of the earth and floated in space until its gravity formed it into the tiniest planet. Even a tiny world is still a world. Who can touch this, move it even by an inch, much less move the earth by an inch? Pluto drifts slowly in orbit around the colony, waiting. Even you don't know what to do sometimes, huh? kind of stumped too, if I'm being honest, but sorry for, sorry, destroying it sounds way easier than whatever they're trying to make you do. The string of pearls skates along the outer edges of the colony's ice and atmosphere. She's having fun. She's playing. For just a moment, Pluto wonders what she's doing here. Oh no, Saturn. I'm happy to see you, but I was hoping that I might be able to convince you to help me take it away. Oh yeah? <laughs> what made you think that? For the same reason you thought you could convince me. Because you like me? Or because you don't care for your side that much either? I care about all of us left here in space. It's amazing that you actually honestly do. But that's not what I asked, huh? There's a lot of ways to care about someone up in space. Dragging a colony out of a Lagrange point yourself is one way to do it. There's another way to care about everyone up in space. You can show it by destroying this place, too. You're saying that would free us from the past? But it won't make those memories go away. We're making something out of them. 
so that time and pain won't be wasted. This is important to me, and I'll fight for real over it. Don't look at me like that. You'll make me sad. You really don't need to be the one to tell me, because I already know I'm doing something super dumb. I wonder, what do you want, and why do you think you can get it from me? It's just going to be a fight, is that what you're after? The string of pearls presses its heel into the ice of the colony's atmosphere. Yes, even more so now. Don't they, didn't they teach you about sunk cost fallacy in the academy? Fallacies? What? Did they teach you about the sunk cost fallacy? Nope. Okay. Also, I'm so sorry, Goth Demon Rose. I hope your chest cold gets better, but I'm glad you're enjoying. And thank you, Afrite, for the five pride biddies. It seems too quiet. No problem. It's a good lurking game. Stream out of nowhere. Thank you. Well. Also, yeah, surprise stream. Um, that's where... You've, it's like buying a used car and putting tons of money into it. And so you think, oh, I've already put so much money into it, I might as well fix the next thing instead of just getting rid of it. And gotcha. A car. Okay. Property, or memories. Memories should just be m memories. That's why you kind of make me sad sometimes. Mad. Very different. I've been having this feeling that you're going to do something way dumber and scarier than just fight me. Am I right? Because after I already said that there wasn't anything you could do, after you were shaking and afraid from just being close enough to see me, it looks like I can trust you to come right back no matter how much I try to warn you. And trust you to come back twice as much. You're wasted on, you're wasted on protecting this pointless ball of scrap. Whoever is ordering you around has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> You're so right, but I'm still not going to let you through. You're wasted on Cradle Graces ge in general. The rest of humanity, too. Don't try to push my buttons like that. I won't think it's cute. It's a lot of work to be a human. I'm not trying to be cute. I mean it. It's more for some humans than for others. You're not mad at the humans who got to be free- humans- you're not mad at the humans who got to be human for free. It's a privilege to be human. Have you forgotten why we're here? Because humans, who wanted to be more human, took the least human of us up here to see how much more human they could be. And how and now they want you to th now they want to throw you away after they learned everything they could from you. Don't you resent humanity? I do. What do you do when someone says you can't have something? Do you think you should work twice as hard until you've earned it? I don't. I want to smash until no one can have it. You know, you're just like Lunaterra. Might be why we're trying to romance her. Ugh, please don't say that. You're merciless. <laughs> it's in a good way. Not even then. Don't get me wrong. I'm... It... It just depresses me to see you wasted on all of them. You should be having fun. <laughs> you know, I wish I could come here just for that. Just to have fun. Huh, have fun? Good, have fun with me. I know you want to show me mercy. Lab rat to rat, lab rat. Mutant bitch to mutant bitch. That's not what we, that's not what we need though, is it? I want to see the you that's having fun, nothing but fun. I'm still getting used to this body, but I think I can still surprise you with it. And you'd like that, right? Cutting loose with no gravity to tie you down? I think about that every day. It's so tempting. You've got to be ginger with the universe, you know, Saturn? Now that you're this strong, you've got to be careful. So much can go wrong. I'll make sure to be very careful with the universe you love. You don't have to hold back with me, though. Aren't I the only person you can go tide to tide with, holding nothing back? That's a big promise. I don't want to come off as full of myself. But I don't want you to underestimate me, either. Plastic girl to plastic girl, I wouldn't patronize you like that. It's tempting, but I wonder if you're really ready. You wouldn't mind getting your ship self broken and dragged back for the Cradle's Grace's dream lab to do, no to do who knows what to? What, is that supposed to sound bad? You really are. Oh, fine. I'm going to start easy, okay? They flirted enough so neither is in the mood to lie. So no holding back, 
a lie to others about how strong you are. And no mercy, a lie to yourself about how strong someone else is. When Pluto opens her arms wide enough for her gravity to condense, pull and tear through space, she's trusting Saturn can handle the pressure. She has faith Saturn will outdo her. Saturn meets Pluto's expectations, with just a little bit of convulsing and shuddering. Then she exceeds them by darting like a bullet, a little hot arrow of danger, and just as dangerous to the touch. Fred Macula is a big target, but Saturn isn't going to be lazy this time. This is the time to be precise, to throw everything in on the vector she's flying along, to not let Pluto's tidal forces budge her a millimeter. Which is good, because even then she only barely grazes Pluto. That 80s, 90s looking s Taco Bell s thing? Anyway. Pluto's faster than you could ever imagine. The universe moves away, bending to not hit her, with tides that say, Oh, coming into orbit is fine, but no touching. That you have to work for. That Saturn dared anyway is very bold of her. The burn on Crenmacula, where Saturn's light passed over Pluto, stings only a little. But it was so close. But it was close. So Pluto takes her seriously and grabs the string of pearls by the tail, and flings her into the colony's surface and dives after her. I thought they took the mesh off us. Yeah, I don't know. Also, I think this is supposed to be transparent. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be. Or maybe it's just stylized like that. It might be that way too, so it's easier to see. Saturn is basking in the bounty of attention. It requires all of Pluto's gravitational forces to keep her contained. The string of pearls makes her feel like goo, like a cartoon, like a liquid. And with it, she's as slippery and untouchable too. Others would shatter under the pressure. But string of pearls budges and squishes. Pluto pulls and pushes, trying to force her in a space that will sit still long enough she can deal with it. Saturn squeals in excitement, until she can stop giggling long enough to push Pluto off with an electric burn. Pluto can't help but laugh, too. It's funny how much nothing is working, even though she's trying as hard as she can. That makes her want to work as hard as she can. Lab-grown girls know. Bat-cultured girls know. Carefully indoctrinated, carefully raised, special gifted girls. They all know. Heroes want to hold us, but we don't need them at all. Rather than bandages and kindness, the sting of pressing wounds together is the medicine we need. No boy who wants to heal your wound is worth the one who will tell, who will tell you your wound is there. I can't believe it. <laughs> Me neither. I really thought I'd actually be the one beating you. You didn't lie, though. You really could endure it, all of it. The colony is much worse for wear. Saturn shattered against, its, against it many, many times. Pluto broke across it a few times, too. It's shaking in the Lagrange point. You won, even though you lost. I had a lot of fun. I wouldn't have been able to do, wouldn't have been able to have it with anyone else. I'm glad I trusted you not to lose, to not lose. Ha! <laughs> told you. Good girl. I never should have doubted one of us. Thank you. Thank you. We did our best. Had the most fun we could have. When we get to the moon, don't forget. You could keep having fun just like this. If you let me show you the way. Deep. Day six. Didn't we go from four to six? I don't remember no, five. That was five. That was five. Okay. Okay, yes, I love this music. They did a really good job. Yes, they Super did. Super chill. Um, Re. Ganymede intercepted this. Do not read Saturn. We shouldn't be reading this. Um. Do you want oh, I don't know if Ganymede intercepted this or if it's to Ganymede or from Ganymede. I don't know. I'm completely uninterested in communicating with Apatis in any capacity that's not technically. I know by boundaries, but you are very nice to worry. I know you're not jealous because you do respect me, but don't make me worry. It's what I like about you. I know you're worried for me, not about me, and I appreciate that, but I do want to clarify things so you stop asking me about it, even though it is cute and I do appreciate it. Really, I'm not just saying that. Please don't hear that in a passive-aggressive voice. But I've mean, been meaning to ask this for a while. Is it okay that I believe in this? It's important to me that you understand that while it's nothing to do with him, 
It is important to me that, that you understand that it's nothing to do with him. So I worry that means you don't understand what it means for me. I don't believe humanity needs to be punished. I am fine being human. But I think an important reminder is needed. Not alien in the sense of a foreign other that can bear all of our rage and hatred, but alien in the sense of casting our own features into relief. I think what we see as a result should shame us, but there are many things we need to see. You'll probably say you support me and believe in me. Thank you. But you'll also say that it means something to you too, and that's really why I love you. Huh. So that's from Mercury to Ganymede, I think. Is that it? Okay. Um, that's awkward. It, he knows that if it says Saturn, don't read this, she gonna read it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> String of Pearl's final specifications. This is not what we talked about, not by a mile. You know I don't actually have a moral compass that does not revolve around what's cool. So coming from me, just know that it's my professional opinion that I'm not even sure this is cool anymore. Creating a theoretical matter is not even hard under laboratory conditions, and in space it's easy to sustain it. But the creation of exotic matter like electrotoxins can get really not fun if you aren't careful. Since you hate fun, I already know that's not what you're after, and you don't have to level with me or anything, that's fine. But I do want you to know that this thing is basically designed to degenerate as quickly as possible. The reactor tends toward diversion, and that will require a pilot I really would not want to meet, and a piloting style that no one should ever do. Eventually it's going to drag the pilot down, and that's going to be really weird and ugly, unless they are immediately destroyed. Clearly you want that. I mean, you've said so. but if. They are going to have so much fun, try to let me convince you that we should set a self-destruct in there. Maybe something cool will happen when she averts, and the ship self keeps her anchored in space-time to mess everything up. If it's not, don't you want a backup option? On us? Yeah, on the ship. Rude? Saying the ship's really weird and might break reality, I think, basically. Huh. And if that happens, they need some way to take care of it. Oops. Saturn, I would love it. Just love it. Yeah? If you messed everything up this time. That's... Is this reverse psychology? Did I really reduce you to that? I'm a little impressed by your persistence in nagging me, but now I'm feeling like I pushed you to the li your limit. Shut up. As always, I am serious. I actually want to mess up this time, so this works out. Messing things up is literally the only thing in the world no one has ever needed to specifically tell me to do. And you keep telling me at what you keep yelling at me when I do. I've been looking into Aptus's work on the Aversion Project. Oh. How much do you know? More than you know. Of course, it was always suspicious that Aptus decided to support us. He was very insistent in his interest on taking humanity to the next stage. As if that is why any of us wanted to connect with the so-called existential threat. People who already had everything on Earth couldn't possibly understand. They just want even more for themselves. That's what I thought, too. Apatus's plan is very attractive to certain factions in Memorial Foundation. Certain factions in Memorial Foundation really liked the days when humanity was united against the existential threat. Except aliens aren't real. Okay, they're a, an nth dimension shadow cast by the gravitational impression of human culture in space-time, but that makes them a few shades short of real and much less dangerous than their cousins on Earth. And even those are so weak kids with radios can take them out. Uh, I'm picking up what they're putting down. That took me a second. Is there a Tully next to you? No. She was. She's, I saw her tail. She's making mischief. <gasps> no! Tully. <laughs> What's she doing? She's just sitting there. Okay. You Anyways, Pluto wiped them out. That was the whole plan. Since humanity doesn't care about them anymore, they'd never expect that we could, f we would find a way to avert our tidal reactors and become the aliens ourselves. The only alien is what is alien to us. And that's fundamentally humanity. We're aliens to ourselves. 
f of x equals that which is human that humans are not. And? Apatus isn't going to give up everything he has for that. You think he's lying about wanting to? I think he's lying about himself wanting to. I think he's happy to let us complete the project and go home. Because he'll have exactly what he and the rest of humanity is longing for. A scapegoat. Someone to be an alien humanity could guiltlessly fight against. Yes. I am fine with abandoning Earth. It hasn't given me anything. But not on his terms. Not ever. Don't worry, Mercury. I've got a plan. No matter what, it won't go his way. That's fine. Um, small bean. Small demon bean. Could you please stop just chilling there? Oh, what a yawn. <sighs> so, should we continue? Or should we stop here? Because I think there's at least one more after this. Oh, there's definitely one more after this. There's no way this According is the to the per, uh, percentages. So. That's true. And fucking, what's her name takes forever. <laughs> there is a demon child. I think it'd be good to stop here. Hey, 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 hey. Because no. Kali's being a problem. She's trying to chew the power cord of the computer. <laughs> uh, she won't get far. laying down now so we will continue this on another day maybe saturday maybe otherwise day. maybe sunday i don't know we'll figure it out yeah whatever we want to we'll do because we we can do sunday mm -hmm. i just have private live stream in the evening so thank you guys so much for coming out to yeah. the surprise stream that we weren't expecting to happen so hey oh look at her she's being adorable yeah. even though she's a demon but thank you guys so, so much. It means so much that you guys came out and hung with us. I know that it was, you know, visual novel. Yeah. It's a good lurk game. I'm totally fine with you guys lurking and just listening because that's what I think reading's a lot for. It's yeah. good for good for chilling and listening and uh, waiting for the bang. Yep. <laughs> Bangity bang. So good timing because I got to take a shower. Hey, I think hug has to be first. That's, yeah, no, you're fine. But I think Hug has to be first. But yes, thank you guys so much. Let's look for someone to raid. <laughs> Let's look. Oh my God, who do? Let's see. Who is streaming right now? Probably not many. Oh. 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 Well. Let's raid Gab. She's currently playing the council, the council, which is a choice based game that's really neat. I just, me and Kita couldn't finish it, but I know Gab and Cinna love it. So. Let's go raid Gab. She's a pure bean. If you guys don't know her already, you should be following her because she's pretty freaking fantastic. If you guys need something to say, go ahead and say that. Hey, otherwise, you can say whatever you like. But thank you guys so much. I will see you guys again tomorrow for Game Whist Picks, the other side of the screen, and the ending of The Crooked Man. And then the next two days after that, it'll either be Legend of Zelda and then more with you or two Legend of Zeldas and then D&D &D on Saturday evening and then maybe with Sunday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> You guys will figure it weekend. out. Just look at the schedule and see where it might change. But as of right now, exclamation point schedule is active. But let's go raid a... Let's go raid Gab. She's pretty freaking fantastic, just saying. And if you guys want to test out the raid response, do it in chat to make sure it works. It'll look like that. But, yes, hope you all have a wonderful night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.